Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new commentary long play adventure in a better Minecraft. This is a brand new modded world with lots of new biomes, blocks, and buildings to explore. So let's get into a brand new adventure. Today we are going to be making a cozy fantasy starter cottage and dipping our toes into the world of modded together. I've I've not really played a lot of modded, so this will be a fun experience for us both. And if you do want to play some modded Minecraft alongside me, I'll be putting the seed and cords of where I'm going to be living in the description if you want to play along with me. So let's uh let's get into exploring. I think the sun. Oh, hello. I think the sun is going up, so we don't have to worry about the time, but it looks like we spawned into a blush sakura grove, and I love these particles so, so much. This is beautiful. I'm already amazed. And you can see in the top right corner, we have a map. And if I click M, we can see this giant world and all these different biomes. Now, I did already decide that I do want to live in this Sakura Grove, and I already picked out a specific spot that we are going to be basing, but as you can see, there's also some structures, so we're not going to go in these, but I do kind of want to just walk around them and check them out. So, we are in regular survival in hard mode, so I do need to- oh my gosh, look at this. The leaf piles! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh, and look how the leaves fall! It's like a full-on leaf just falling. All the vibes. I love it. Oh my gosh. I heard an animal. Ants? Ants marching. Where's the ants? I have, uh, oh! <gasps> Hello, little guy! Oh my gosh! Hi! <laughs> You're so cute! <laughs> So, I feel like today is going to be me getting just a little bit distracted by all these new modded things that we discover along the way, but I thought this world would be such a fun world for us to explore. Oh, this is their anthill. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll leave that alone. But I thought that for a commentary long play world, doing it in some modded Minecraft would be really fun. Because I've always wanted to try modded Minecraft and just get to build with it. The only experience I have with mostly modded blocks is... I'm, I'm taking flowers as we go. Oh, these are azures? Oh, they're so pretty. But my only experience with modded is really playing on Castaway's SMP, which when I go onto the map, this structure, I remember taking on with Brookella, and uh, it was interesting. It was uh, piglins riding mushrooms. They, they hit hard and I died a lot, so we're not gonna go there. Um, but if you're interested in seeing that episode, I can put that in the description below. But I did want to just, you know, get to know uh, some modded things. Oh, super creeps. What is this? Find an infested temple? Um, yeah, no thank you. I know for a fact that inside here is more than just your regular uh, zombies and spiders and skeletons. There's also some withers. <gasps> Ooh, and we've got some fun little uh, buildings. Got some caves. Okay. Got lots of fun things. Lots of bees. Okay. Well, I don't exactly know where the entrance to this one is, but I know that from what I remember, there was a bunch of piglins and pillagers that were around this build, but inside some of these. Oh, yeah. You can see on the map. See, this is going to help us a lot. This map is going to help us kind of know what to avoid. Oh my gosh, but look at the mushroom block. Oh, it's so pretty. But inside some of these houses, there's some really good loot. I just need to... Oh my gosh, they have vindicators. No, no, no. That is awful. That's actually kind of scary. But they've got all these fun little, like, biomes and builds that we get to explore. We're just not going to do that today when we have zero armor. But we can get resources here once we get a little bit more prepared. I also know that there's some spawners in there. So that is not what we are doing firstly in this world. We're going to grab some basic tools. Grab all of those. Oh, you found me. No, no, no. Can you not? 
Can you not? Okay, maybe we just run. <laughs> I'm already gonna die right away. Maybe we just do some running. I know that where I want to be basing is up this way. Oh, wait. Bumble Zone Advancement tab. Everything, including progression and how to play. Ooh, interesting. Is he still following me? Does he leave me alone? I'm sorry I had to leave a floating tree. We will take care of the floating tree later. I, uh, I just didn't want to deal with that guy just following me consistently. That is not my idea of a good time. Way to start off with some chaos. But look at this. It's a maple crafting table. I love this maple block. This is just so pretty. I love the light tan. It's like a neutral block. It's so pretty. I love this, actually. So the maple log is going to probably be one of my favorites. Ooh. Ooh, I love the fast decay. That's actually extremely fast relief decay. I feel like I want that in my worlds um, in general. So there's probably some of these mods that I'm going to end up really falling in love with and wanting to use in my other worlds. But obviously, like, some of them are going to be mostly just for quality of life, like fast leaf decay. Like, um, that's, that's incredible. Big fan of that. But let's grab some... Ooh, there's coal here. Okay, let's grab some stone quickly. We've got to upgrade our tools. And then we really, really need to find some food. So I'm going to grab enough stone so that we can make an axe and a pickaxe. Oh, there's a skeleton down. I don't know why I'm whispering, like, them hearing me doesn't affect anything. I just feel like if I'm whispering, I'm sneakier. Does anyone else act that way around things, you know? <laughs> it's literally like, red. you're not any sneakier just by being quiet. Like, oh, what am I doing? I'm doing the wrong things. Like, it's just kind of funny. It's funny the things that we think actually help us in Minecraft versus not. Getting our upgrades. It's a beautiful. Let's get our furnace. Just so we have that. Perfect. Okay. We're getting things geared up. Now, there's coal down there, but there's a skeleton. And I'm not about to deal with him. And he's coming out of the cave. So I'm just going to quick run this way. Now, as far as our map goes, I'm curious if when I'm in my map, if I'm like paused in a sense or if things can still kind of get me. I'm a little bit concerned for that, but look how cute this little mushroom place is. We've got a bunch of cherry grove around us, all these white birch with the pink. Lots of, oh, we have sunflowers. Oh my gosh. I'm, oh, look how pretty this is. I mean, not that, but you know, uh, everything else is fine. Okay, but as far as where our cords are going to be, we're going to be basing over in this area, in over here. So I have negative 415 right around here, and negative 199. So kind of somewhere over in this area. So we're just going to come explore this area a bit more and figure out where exactly we're going to base. But I just need to find some food. I think these are ducks. So I'm not seeing a whole lot of food options uh, quite yet. So we're just going to go exploring some more. Maybe we try to get back up the hill. I feel like getting back up the hill will actually help us out. As long as I don't run into the skeleton again. But I love these particles that are falling inside this maple forest. And the fact that there's these little piles of leaves. A, a full of this pile of leaves. My goodness. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but if you notice, we have so many blocks. And a lot of these are going to be modded. Some of these are going to be normal. But we've got just all these extra things, lots of furniture mods, better nether furniture mods, so many cool armor pieces that we can experiment with and collect. I'm really excited for these flower boxes too. I think that will be so much fun. But there's just so much to explore and I really feel like Better Minecraft is a mod pack that just allows you to do so much more in the game. And I'm excited to just try it out. I think it'll just be fun to, you know, try out something new with you guys. 
and who knows maybe you guys will enjoy playing this too and we're just gonna you know learn and explore together i'm avoiding caves for now especially since it's gonna be dark soon oh where was one of those little houses i feel like there were some houses around here just like set in the hills oh wow Ooh, we got caves okay it looks like there's even some deer on the map like if i click on my map look at this there's some little deers that's so fun some little deer friends i like that but it is getting dark so i need to work on getting a bed somehow and so far i feel like i could definitely Ooh, i okay yep um i'm gonna just free cam this really quickly oh wait what was that beep noise did you hear that oh also i'm pretty sure um in this mod pack they <gasps> Yes, they added some of the the little friends that were outvoted in mob votes. <gasps> Wait, what are you? Hello? What are you? You're a hamster. Oh my gosh, you're a little block, but you're so cute. Can I tame you? <gasps> oh, and look at Oh my gosh, these little birdies. What are you guys? <gasps> it's a canary. Oh, okay. I know I'm like supposed to be getting a house. Ooh, what's this? That looks a little ominous. Oh, there's a well? But look at- I know I'm, like, supposed to be getting, like, to safety and things, but at the same time, like, this is just so pretty. I just need to find my way down. Um, a little bit safer. Oh, wait, is this a mine shaft? Hello? I have a bad feeling about this, but at the same time, my curiosity is definitely gonna, ouch, get the better of me. Oh, gosh. Oh. Already a friend. Not what I'm interested in, but we can take a screenshot. And actually, there's, is this iron? <gasps> Ooh, there's already iron. Okay, I'm probably gonna get got here. Just saying. Um, okay, there's some coal down there. I'm not seeing any, like, houses or anything. There's iron on that side. If I do some free camming... <gasps> Ooh, sheeps. Wait. Okay, we're, we're gonna go get the sheep, okay? I know that it is a little sad every time we have to, you know, kill some sheepies, but I desperately need a bed to get rid of all the mobs that are gonna be spawning. So we're gonna go. I already am like too low on food. I can't even walk fast. Okay, okay. We can do this, we can do this. Ooh, hey, this is food, right? Oh, I'm here. Om nom nom. Eating my vegetables. Starting off strong, gotta love that. Okay, we're gonna hop into this water because that's safe. And then we're going to quickly try to... Ooh, there's definitely mine shafts up here, so I need to be careful. Um, I need the dirt back. I also love how in this mod pack, I kind of just like... Whenever I get wet, I like drip water. Like I my clothes got soaked, which is extremely fitting. Like actually fits so well. Hi, buddy. I'm so sorry. You didn't even give me any wool. I'm in desperate need of wool, buddies. Please save me. Oh, I am collecting it. Oh, that goes into my inventory much quicker than I expected. Oh, okay. There's another one. I'm surprised there's not more mobs out. Is that because of the moon? Where'd you go? Hello. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi, buddy. i sorry. Okay, okay. We can make a bed. We can make a bed. We can make a bed. We're safe. Look at that. A nice little bed, and we will take our first sleep in this beautiful blush Sakura Grove. Oh, okay. I'm feeling better already, guys. Now, I am curious to just quickly go look inside that chest, just in case there's any food. I also want to collect some of these really pretty flowers. They're lilacs, but they have different colors in there. And here's some more ant buddies. I actually love how there's ants. 
They make little funny noises too, but they're cute. Where did I see the chest now? I feel like it was somewhere over here, maybe. I can't eat pumpkins unless I make pumpkin pie. Where was that? Hello? I know I saw you. Okay, you were over here more. Okay, we're just gonna check to see what is in this chest here. I'm a little too nervous. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, what's really nice is there's these like sorting container things so we can collect some ropes. I remember using ropes in Castaway. I love using them for decoration, but now we have a name tag. We have some iron for the first time. Rice is a growing thing, so maybe we take that. I honestly feel like just, you know, taking a lot of these things just because it'll be nice to have. But now we know there's a mine shaft down here, so we can explore that. But what we need to do is start going towards where we're going to build. Now, if I'm following my map correctly, we're almost there. So this is where we're going to. So we just get to adventure. Oh, but did you see on the map? There's rascals underground. And there's fish in the water, so I can grab some food. Okay, I think we're really quickly going to go grab some of these bass. I think this will be nice to just have some fish. Am I collecting them? Okay, I'm going to like put this in my offhand just so I know I'm like actually like picking up the fish. Just so I know. Okay, we've got some salmon. We've got some other... We've got some, some lamb chops. And I'm... I'll again running out of my food and stamina so let's just do this but look at this my clothes are wet it's so cute I love that I think it's like such a very like very much so like fitting just because that's what literally would happen and I wasn't uh, aware of that until I was like playing in this mod pack just to test it out and then I realized that your clothes can get wet just like they actually would in real life. And I thought that was super fitting. Like that actually should be how it is, like very accurate, right? Now, another thing in this mod pack that we have is backpacks. So I need to remember how to craft them, but we've got little backpacks. So it's just a bunch of leather and we're definitely going to be using that. And because, I mean, I'm already kind of, you know, low on my space here. But we're going to use that. And once I get this food, we're going to continue on. But some of the building blocks that we're going to be using today are going to be calcite. We're also going to use, since we're living in a Sakura Grove, we're going to be using this wood type called Sakura. And I think this is going to be a really pretty wood type. We're going to use calcite. We're going to use this Sakura. And we're going to use spruce as well. So a lot of mainly natural looking blocks. And we're also going to use bricks in this mod pack. They do look a little bit different, a little bit darker in Better Minecraft. But I think it's really pretty. So those are the supplies that we're going to go and collect. So as we're kind of walking our way up these hills, I am going to be collecting a bunch of the calcite that's in the sakura groves also i'm not sure if i'm saying this correctly is it sakura or sakura i feel like that's probably more so what it is there's also a whole new dimension called the bumble zone and essentially what you can do in this is if i click on this bumble zone there's a whole kind of like adventure biome like dimension that we can go to where if we uh, use an ender pearl into a beehive we can go and explore it which i think is kind of fun so we can enter a, the bee bumble zone dimension through using like a a piston or an ender pearl and it looks like if we have these two advancements we've like completed it all which is really cool but then there's like a whole bunch of these advancements that we can check off in the game and i really like how there's so many more advancements to try i think it's just really cool like there's so much more that we can explore in this world and i'm very excited to just see what we can find but we're gonna collect some of this calcite as we go 
just because I'm going to be using bricks as part of the wall on the bottom of our house and the upper level is going to have some calcite on the walls. So we're going to use a little bit of both calcite and brick for the walls mixed in with some spruce. So we're also going to need to go looking for some spruce today, but I, I think it shouldn't be too far to go adventuring to get some. I did already discover that there are most of the tree types pretty close to this area, which I did kind of intentionally pick this seed just because I thought it was fun to have those two structures very close to where we are and I thought it would also just be fun to uh, live in one of these groves, these sakura groves, because these particles are just part of the biome. So these little pink petal particles just stay around and I love it. So I was very excited to just know that I get even more particles. You know me and my love for particles around our builds. So building in the Sakura little grove is going to be so fun for me just because I can find spore blossoms to get particles. We can get the cherry oak logs and that'll give us some particles and it'll just be great. So very excited for that but let's just uh, rearrange our inventory and kind of help ourselves out of this little hole. And, oh, there's a well here. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna take these lanterns. Can I take them? <gasps> yeah, 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 okay. I'm taking the lanterns. Thank you for the lovely light source. Oh, and look, there's some onions. See, this is why we need a backpack, guys. I'm just like, so amazed by everything that I'm just like <laughs> I'm just distracted by everything already because it's just so fun but I I'm already loving just how much more options there are in modded and just different block types so this will be a very fun little world and if there's anything that you think I should know about better minecraft that you think with like building the way that I enjoy building all cozy and different things like that. If there's anything you think I should know or be aware of, ooh, wild carrots, yes please, uh, feel free to leave that in the comments. I've never played better Minecraft before, so I'm just newly experiencing this all with you guys, kind of learning along the way. I'm sure there'll be some things that like off camera, I'll just like be researching to learn a little bit more of how to use just so that our time together in our long play adventures can be used to the fullest in just finding cool things and building cool things. But that is a giant structure. Well, oh, and this is cool. It's like on top of this really giant hill. I feel like there has to be an ancient city under there, um, which is terrifying, you know, but you know, it's, uh, it's fine. Ooh, we need this iron though. I want to have iron tools for when we're collecting all of our resources today. So we're definitely going for all of this iron. And I'm also going to be paying attention to the different sounds. So my subtitles in the bottom right, I think I'm going to really kind of pay attention to those a lot just because this is a brand new world for me. Like, I'm sure there's lots of new mobs and things that I'm just not used to like dealing with or seeing. So I'm going to be a little bit nervous. And, you know, a little bit concerned that I might just accidentally run into somebody I don't want to. But for now, we're picking up all of our iron. And then we're gonna go put our bed down, get some chests, and kind of just start collecting resources right away. I wanna get our house in order, and then we can explore from there. But really, just getting a house is the main thing. And today for our house, we are going to be building kind of a fantasy cottage style house because I thought that the fantasy vibes would really fit this place well. Just because we have this beautiful biome that has these particles everywhere, I think that will be really pretty just to have lots of pretty particles. It kind of fits the fantasy vibe in my mind of just like... I don't know. I feel like to me, when there's particles around, it just reminds me of a more like cozy cottage core fantasy vibe. So that's kind of the reason why I'm excited to uh, 
live in a biome that just like always has particles. Oop, okay, let's make a new stone. I'm just gonna keep upgrading uh, my tools to stone. I think I might actually get rid of these wooden ones. I keep on doing this. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm putting full blocks because I just get ahead of myself and just wanting it to convert right away. It's kind of silly, right? <laughs> but let's get rid of these again. Move this. Oh, and of course now I do need to get my crafting table back so we will get rid of those. Okay, these things are very interesting to me. These experience nuggets appears with experience orbs with a small chance. I don't know what we can use them for, but it sounds like they can be used for something that's pretty decent. I also think it's interesting that there's like coal can be found in different ores, right? Like they're calling this coal ore, they're calling it like stone which I think is interesting. Like I've seen some calcite as well. So there's definitely some interesting new like ore combinations with like different stone types, which is fun. I will gladly, you know, take coal and any ores in whatever, whatever kind of stone they come in. But I think this is super fun. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you've played Better Minecraft before and what are your favorite things about it and what are some things that I should be careful of and mindful of because I'm, I mean, places like an infested temple. Odo, oh no. Odo, oh no. there's a skeleton. Eh, eh, eh. Run, 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 run for it. Run up the hill. Run away, dear. There's a skeleton on the loose. He might get you. <laughs> All right, I think we're nearing to the top of our area. And what's nice about living in the Sakura Grove is we also are going to have all of the wood that we use for that. Oh, is that a skeleton? But this is the biome that we're going to be living in. I think it's beautiful. I'm super excited to live in here. I think this is great. Now, as far as where we're going to actually like put our base area, I in just like a creative test world was like exploring seeds and I really fell in love with this little area right here. So it's kind of like a little valley inside this little Sakura blush grove. And I thought about just having our little houses kind of like pop up inside this little valley you know it's kind of like we're creating our little tucked away village spot so this is where we're going to be building our little base area and i'm thinking we'll either make our starter house right in here or i also like it kind of just like tucked into this wall area and then we can just kind of create paths in between here but I just thought it was so pretty. So we're gonna kind of walk our way over there and then I'm gonna set up our little base camp area. And there was also a structure that I had not explored before, um, even in just this world. Oh, hello, little, what are you, a robin? I love how they add birds, they're so cute. Oh, and there's some ants, hello, little guy. Are you okay if I live near you? Are ya? Yeah, you're just checking me out, aren't you? I'm cool with you if you're cool with me. Well, we can be friends. I'll leave your aunt hell alone too. Okay, well, there's lots of coal. There's some iron in here. But I just think this is so pretty. Like, I'm so excited for this. There's flowers everywhere. Oh, this is just so pretty. I am very excited to just have... Oh, look at this. It's a butterfly. I'm gonna get so distracted, guys. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. So many cute, cool things. But I'm just so excited to have, like, new animals, new critters. <gasps> a salamander! Is that what you are? Can I sneak? If I sneak, will you not run away from me? I want to know what you are really quickly, though. What are you? Tell me what you are. You are a lizard. Okay, just a lizard. And then look at this. They have little note blocks. <gasps> it's a cardinal. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Okay. Stay focused, Red. Now, as far as where we would build, I kind of think that space-wise, if we build it right here, this would be the best. Obviously, we need to fill in this little hole here, but I, I think I want to build it right in here. So, this spot right over here is where we're going to build our house. We'll have to fill in some of these little spaces, kind of terraform the ground. 
but I think this is where we're going to kind of tuck our little starter house into. So let's uh, let's make a little starting campsite area. So we've got this. And then uh, let me just put this down. I need more wood for creating a chest because we gotta get some chests down, you know, having the bed, the crafting table, the furnace, and some chests is always the first thing, the first few things you need in Minecraft. <gasps> Whoa, wait, is this like a one? <gasps> oh my goodness, this is going to be so much easier. <gasps> No way. Oh my word. I forgot that that's a thing. <gasps> this is gonna be so much easier. I also love how the petals just stay on the ground. Oh my goodness, though. <gasps> I am so excited for this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well. Oh, I got some experience from putting my chest down, maybe? I'm not sure. But look at this. So I can sort my inventory. I can stack if I accidentally have, like, a bunch of these saplings just like scattered i can sort it into stacks and i can place all of my inventory into the chest which is actually like super super nice but we have some iron so let's make some iron tools right away and let me grab all of our coal here so we'll start smelting that up and this is the blocks that we're going to be building with i do want to make another chest probably we'll need a double chest honestly but let's just put this in here make a chest and we'll make a double chest we'll just turn that into a double chest and we can sort the container i'm gonna keep a bunch of torches on hand we'll keep our starting pickaxe just because it's kind of fun you know just to have our starting pickaxe but we've got some rope in two different styles from two different mod packs i guess but these are the resources that we're going to be collecting We'll also have to go collect some spruce. We're gonna have to go collect some brick. So we're going to make a shovel as well. So let's just start, can I like use these? Oh, no way, twigs can become sticks, good to know. So let's get our iron tools for the first time. Look at this. And I feel like having two shovels is gonna be good and Oh, there's some other experience orbs. Mythic charms. I wonder what I can do with mythic charms. Mythic. Okay. So we've got experience nuggets. We've got a resonance ring. If I hold shift, allows the wearer to use a resonance table and increase pickup daily delay. Pickup delay of thrown items. Interesting. Feather Grace. Oh, interesting. So we can put these little, uh, I guess, charms inside this and a residence table. Ooh, fancy. Requires a residence ring and a block of lapis beneath it to work. Interesting. Now we are collecting up a bunch of this sakura wood and just kind of placing down some saplings to continuously give this, uh, you know, this little area a refresh and replant our saplings so we don't just deforest it. So we're just trying to collect three full stacks for this and make sure that we keep this well stocked that it stays beautiful that we still get all of our saplings i did decide to put a little home kind of a waypoint to our area just so it makes it easier for us to be traveling around oh yep we're not going in there today but once we're done grabbing all of these different sakura logs then we're going to start heading down towards some water there is a larger body of water down here, and I think this will give us the best chance of getting bricks, which is one of the last things that we need in order to build our little house here. So I think once we get that in all uh, collected up, we can kind of build a bunch of different bricks, get that all smelted up, create the bricks from the clay. We'll be in a good spot where we can actually start building our little house in our little Sakura Grove here. And I think it's gonna look so pretty. Again, we are going for more of like a, a fantasy style for our starter house, which I haven't done a whole lot of, but 
I really enjoy trying new styles of building just because I feel like it helps me improve as a builder. I'm not that great at like roof shapes, but trying out different build styles with different roof pitches and elevation, like things like that kind of just helps me to get better at practicing different roof styles. So I feel like I'm in a better place and can build a lot better. But we now have the three stacks of the Sakura. So we are good on that front. I'll just uh, plant a few more around here just to kind of fill this area in. I do have my bed with me, so we are gonna be safe. But let's quick uh, run our way past this very ominous build, especially when you look at this giant cavern. Oh, hey, these are some wild onions and some food. I will gladly take some food. But I just get so distracted here. But like I was saying, look how ominous this looks with the giant build here and then just this giant cave below it. So, so ominous. Also, so much copper. If I decide to build with copper, like, that cavern is perfect. It's got so much. But we're just gonna make our way around. Oh, here's azalea. We also want to build with azalea leaves. So I'm gonna quickly grab some of these. I made some shears so that we're able to just grab any of the leaves as we see them. But that means there is a bunch of rooted dirt and a, a little uh, lush cave underneath here which is super fun so if i kind of just go down here a little bit further will i see it i don't but there's all this new stone stuff blue and night interesting all these new modded things are so interesting to me like blue and night never heard of that but you know i'm sure it'll, uh, it'll look cool it'll make something look cool okay so is this an azalea leaf Oh, interesting it's just a little azalea that's kind of cute i'm just gonna grab these leaves here yep there we go there we go perfect and uh, let's just pick this tree up i love how you can just grab the entire tree literally like so nice so nice big fan of that and I can make some torches, and I think I want to just, like, put a torch marker down here so that I remember there's rooted dirt. And we're going to sleep really quickly on top of some petals, which is kind of funny. Okay. Oh, the sun's shining through. How pretty. So now we need to make our way through here. And I'm going to pick up all these azalea leaves along the way because I do want to build with them. And it'll just be super nice to just have these on hand. Because usually azalea leaves are the ones that I really enjoy building with. I think the color of green just fits so well in most builds. And especially if we're going for like a fantasy theme, I feel like this bright leaf color is going to look really pretty amongst the already bright green grass and things. And I think it'll just be so pretty. Also, what's with this wind rustling thing? Oh, look at this, it's a little, oh, it's a little well designed for this area. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, emeralds, I'll, I'll take some, why is there wind? I'll take an emerald. Don't mind if I do, I'll just get rid of the grass. I don't need grass, I guess. But that's kind of cute. They have like biome specific little wells and things. I'm a little bit drenched now, but that's fine. Ooh, okay, we've got some more azalea leaves, perfect. I'm just like getting all these random things just cause I'm picking up all of the fun things, learning about this as we go. So much fun. I'm glad I decided to go this way. I was really hoping to find some azalea leaves cause I, I usually just want to build with just them. <laughs> I'll build with some other uh, leaves too, but they're definitely my favorite to build with. So I'm, I'm glad that they were here. And then let's take you, and then we'll put a torch there as well, just so I can mark that. Okay. All right, and now we're gonna keep going. I think we're good on azalea leaves. Like, I don't think I need more than what I have right here. So I'm just gonna leave these be as is. And we're just gonna start running our way. 
Oh look, it's a snail. Hi, buddy. I just got shoved by the wind. <laughs> um, is there like a, a wind that's alive? Did you see that? I also like how there's like fallen logs. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm gonna steer clear of the uh, the lava in case the wind decides to be funny. Wait, am I like following the wind right now? Ooh, what is, oh, that's just a tree. I thought that was like a structure. I was about to be excited. So much to explore and adventure. It's so much fun. Okay. I'm trying to be careful to not take fall damage as we're running around here. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. And we're making it closer to where we need to get the, the water. If I go on my map, this could have some, but I think I just want to head this way. So that's just this direction. It's also interesting how there's like little like piles of rocks. It's kind of cool. Okay. Oh look, and it's a sunflower grove. Oh hey, another one of those things. Actually, wait. No, that has more in it. The, the one that we looked at was just a, a pile. We just found like a pile of stones. Okay, let's go check that out. So it is on our way. I think I already have some sunflowers. But what I think is interesting about this pack is the sunflowers are facing kind of the way that the sun is. Like, I don't think these... I think these move according to, you know, where that is, but maybe they don't. All right. On our way. Wait, why am I, why are my hearts freezing? Do you see this? What is with this? Is this from the wind? Why are they iced? If anyone knows why my hearts are iced right now, um, you want to let me know. So I have zero clue what that's from. Whoa, there's granite coal. That's cool. I did actually want some granite, so that's that's actually pretty helpful. But let's make it up to that place first. I'm curious if there's anything in there. Uh, I need to just remember where it is. Excuse me. There it is. Wow, we just get our ominous giant infested temple just hanging out I'm very confused by this it's a butterfly um you're kind of stuck there bud oh okay well there's cobwebs down there <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. okay more coal, we'll take it. A smithing table. A blast furnace. Oh, this is the thing. Interesting. So if I'm clicking on something, I can click on this and it tells me what I actually like have that can like be blasted. That's interesting. <gasps> oh, can I not pick this up yet? Well, that's also trippy. Oh, oh, can I, should I try to pick this up? I'm a little bit nervous. But we'll take an anvil. I, except I can't. A bee stinger. I can pick up a bee stinger? I don't know if I want a bee stinger, honestly. That sounds interesting. Um, let's get rid of these. Should I try to pick this up? I think iron. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think iron can pick it up. Look at that, an enchanting table. Let's go, and there's books here. I kind of don't want to uh, have our... Well, let's check everything else, but I was gonna say. Ooh. Regen, water breathing. Oh my goodness, this is great. What do I do, though? Okay, this wind is pushing me around, guys. I'm getting bullied by the wind. <gasps> Look at this, ready? We've got potions. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of these the sticks, probably. 
I want the brewing stand as well. Let's... We can get rid of our axe and stuff. Look at that. We got a brewing stand. That's incredible. Love that for us. Okay, nothing else. I'm gonna close this. I don't trust this... This little, uh, wind thing. I'll take this cauldron, though. That seems kind of nice. This is, uh, working out pretty good for us, I'd say. I also need to work on armor. I'm, I have zero armor. <laughs> but books? I think books could be a nice thing to have as well. So maybe we just take books. Okay, and then we'll get rid of that, because that's stone. And then... We didn't really need anything in here, but let's actually smelt up this, uh, this iron real quick. Then we can make a little bit of some, some armor while we're doing that, right? So if we go like so. I am curious about this bee stinger. Like, I think I want to keep it just to figure out what that's even about. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, right? Um, let's see. What do we want to make? Should we make some pants? Or a chest plate? I th we might not have enough for a chest plate. Oh, look, it even keeps the iron there. Wait, did that? <gasps> Whoa, it keeps it on the table for me and it doesn't take it out? <gasps> That's so cool. Yeah, see, I don't have enough. Can I make you into a nuggie? No. Oh, wait, hang on. Pat. Nope, not enough. Well, we can put some iron pants on. <laughs> get a little bit more uh, protected with some little, little pants. That's nice. I might get a mod pack that, like, makes it uh, harder, or it makes it, like, invisible for uh, all of the, the armor, just so it looks pretty. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous here. Why are there cobwebs down here? Is there anything I need to look out for? Or some blocks to use. Let's use these maple ones. Because that's literally what the floor is made out of. Is there anything bad down here? Like a... S There's no spiders? No spiders? Oh, there's chests down there. I don't hear a spider. So I want to assume we're good. I think we're good. I don't think there's actually anything down here. I'm not seeing anything scary. So that's nice. Okay. Well... I was overly paranoid for no reason, but I'm okay with that. Watch it like be like hiding, you know? It'll just get me out of nowhere. Actually, let's just clip these, clip these, clip these. I could use the cobwebs for something, right? There's hay, I could use hay for food. What's in these barrels? Ah, <gasps> no shot. Oh my goodness. This is incredible! Look at these! Whoa, whoa. Loyalty, efficiency, sharpness, and vanishing? My goodness! <gasps> There's all sorts of goodies in here. Hello? I'll leave an experience nuggy just because I like the idea of taking the gold. <gasps> I, uh, this is cool. Cobwebs, cobwebs, lapis. This is perfect. I'll leave some onions. I already have those. <gasps> More iron. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have like a full suit of iron by the end of this. This is wonderful. Should I take this book though? It doesn't seem like it's that great of a book. But sharpness and efficiency four does kind of seem nice and I could use that, you know? Maybe we just take it. Maybe we just take it. Is there anything hiding behind here? Or is this just gonna be some foods? I mean, if it's just food, they'll take it. Oh, 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 oh. How did that not spawn? Was it because of this light? Terrifying. Okay, let's just take this and go. I 
I'm actually genuinely surprised that that did not go off. That is actually scary. Let's just close this up pretty quick. Yep. And we'll take a snooze in the bed. And then we're gonna get going. Does it not let me sleep? Hello? Can I not sleep? We'll just sleep in our own bed. Okay. Now, we pick up our bed. Now, we go back. That was actually like very uh, productive. Now my issue is I, uh, <laughs> I have more things in my inventory and I need a whole lot more. Oh, that's a creeper. I don't like that. But I need to collect a bunch of clay now. We'll, uh, we'll see how well we do with this collecting of the clay thing. <gasps> what are these? Oh, white tulips. These are so pretty. Oh, guys, this is rough. So many goodies. So many goodies. Like, I don't even know what to leave behind right now. Like, I'd probably leave behind the planks. Maybe the sticks. But, uh, let's just try to collect some. We'll, we'll leave the sticks. I feel like that's a good start. Water breathing could be nice too, honestly. Maybe we try our water breathing potion while we look for some of our our, uh, our clay. I feel like that could be really smart. And then I have more inventory space, but let's get rid of that guy. I don't know why I still had him, but that could actually be like super helpful. Let's try that. Let's find, okay, so here's some clay. So there's clay in here. Clay right there. Okay. Oh, <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Get out of the water, please. Get out of the water, please. Get out of the water, please. Out of the water. Oh my lanta. Hello, Sir Drowned. Not okay. That is not the vibes that we are going for. Thank you very much. Placing my bed down now and eating food. Oh. Okay, that's that's a good time. That's a great time. Where did he even disappear to? I don't even see where that guy went. Did he just like, oh, he's down here. <gasps> what a sneaky little man. Just trying to get me. Taking advantage of my desire for some, some good old clay. How rude. <laughs> All right, let's take a boat maybe. I feel like a boat would be a little bit safer. Okay. All right. I like how I accidentally picked up the stone pickaxe again as I was like running around. It's kind of funny. Okay, we'll leave our bed here and then we're just gonna go looking for some clay. Hopefully in a safer manner than we just were. But let's use a boat. And then I'm gonna use some free cam cheekiness to see. So this is largely gonna be great for a bunch of our gravel. There's clay over here. Ooh, there's a ruined portal. There's a lot of just straight up gravel, not as much clay, which is a little bit tough. So maybe we just go for some granite on the bottom. Maybe we try for that instead. I feel like that could be good. But there is a little bit of clay over in this side I saw, so we'll go for that. So here's some of that. So we'll just get scooping on some of this. And let's get a door. I might save our resource okay let's just go in here i might save our water breathing potion for when we need to collect up a bunch of gravel i feel like that could be a better use of it but we'll just see you know we'll just start here see how much we can collect i think we'll still get like a decent amount like we're not gonna get a whole lot but i think we'll have a good starting amount but we'll see 
I feel like sometimes making bricks can be kind of expensive. So we'll kind of see where we are at. Collect all this up. I'm still kind of like paranoid I'm gonna have that drowned like following me because that guy almost got me. He was a sneaky little bugger. That was like a close call. Me and my pants. I don't think if I would have not had the pants on, these iron pants, I probably would have gotten got, you know? And like afraid to turn the corner. <laughs> afraid to be seen by him. Oh, there is a decent amount of clay here. This is nice. We'll just go here. Ooh, and there's some back here. Lovely. Just grab all of that. Nice. Oh, hurt my head there. Okay, now we can grab the clay. And let's see here. I'm gonna get rid of this so that I can just grab more of the clay. I'm actually probably gonna get rid of the emerald, honestly, and just leave space for more clay, just because that's the main thing I'm, like, wanting to grab, you know? I am glad that we have this map mod, though, that even if I, like, do die at any point, we are gonna be able to easily just get back to our base because we have the little home icon. And I think it will also tell us uh, where we died, which will be super helpful for things. Just so then, you know, if I'm having issues finding where I died, I will quickly be able to get back there and grab all of my stuff and it won't be an issue, which will be perfect. All right, I'm gonna leave these doors here because I frankly have a lot of doors. A pebble, I don't really want to collect pebbles very much, but thank you. And those are the pebbles. So let's go over there for some more of our clay balls and let's look over here yes okay perfect so we're going to make another crafting table and we'll make more doors i'm fully aware that me doing this is literally gonna be me <laughs> kind of just uh putting a bunch of doors and crafting tables all over my world but honestly i kind of think it's funny Cause then it's kind of like oh yeah this is definitely red's area like look at all her crafting tables it's kind of funny i think sometimes things like that just like make your world feel like they're more lived in you know if it's like oh yep i've been here like that's kind of funny so i think it's kind of fun to do things like that and partially it's just me being too lazy to want to get rid of them so they will stay and I'm okay with that. All right, let's grab all these little clay balls. I think we're actually gonna do pretty good for bricks. I don't need like a ton of bricks. It's just gonna be our walls for our bottom layer. And I feel like we're doing pretty good as far as like collecting up enough. We have, look at this, we've got a bunch. I think we're in a good spot. I'm very happy with that. This should be good. So now I'm gonna grab some food quickly. And then we're just gonna go boat over there, but I'm just gonna leave the boat along the edge because this is an area that we're definitely coming back to often. And frankly, I, I just need to get back and I'm not going back through there where that dude was. We're avoiding him at all costs. I refuse to deal with a trident. <gasps> Why are there so many trident boys? Ooh, I don't like this at all. Not a fan. Very scary. Yep, I'm glad I saw that other trident guy because he would have got me and I don't have a ton of gear. So I would probably have gotten, like, got. And that is not the way I want to start a long play. I've got goals, I've got things to do, I've got a house to build, and I'm not letting no drown get in my way. I am very impressed with my like bob and weave ducking skills away from him. 
because they did almost get me. That was a very close call. I left my bed on the shore. We go back. We get the bed. Because right now I don't have a bed, so I will literally just like have to go and find more sheeps and things. Because I brought it with me, right? So. We're gonna go grab our bed that we left on the shore. Go back in the boat and hopefully not die to the drowns that are around. Enjoy my rhymes. Okay, that's a trident. I can see it glowing. Huh, <laughs> where's the bed? Help me, I'm scared. Where's the bed? I left it somewhere over here. Okay, we're gonna free cam this. Oh, it's by that pink tree. I was like, I know I left it somewhere nearby. I really don't like how there's so many trident boys around here. Trident people are not my favorite. Songs by Red. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put my food in my offhand and then I'll have space to bring my bed back home. This is the strat. This is the strat. I think it's the shield space, yes. And I'm gonna munch. Gonna get some snacks. Bring our bed. And then we're gonna just go straight across. I don't think I see that drowned dude anymore. So if we go straight across, we should be safe. We should be fine. I do also need to go and get glass later on, but we're gonna just get home. We have so many good things. I can't believe we found a brewing stand and we found a enchanting table. Like I didn't even need to spend my diamonds yet on an enchanting table. And we found a few bookshelves, like that's not too bad. And I'm sure there's like other structures that we can pull things from too. Which I kind of like that about modded Minecraft so far. Like, we were just able to loot a bunch of stuff and we're gonna be able to keep doing that and finding cool things along the way. It's great. But since we have most of the like items that we're going to need, <gasps> here's the hamsters. Oh my gosh, no, you're the cute hamster. <gasps> Look at you. Oh, they're so cute. Oh. I want a hamster. I didn't realize how much I wanted a hamster in Minecraft. It's funny how they're literally just like a cube. <laughs> if I get, um, if I can tame a hamster and figure that out, I'm, I'm naming, hello. <gasps> it's my hamsters. I'm definitely naming one cube. Look at them, they're so cute. They're just running around. <laughs> They're so adorable, oh my gosh, I love this. I'm so excited to like also see what other fun little creatures are in this, uh, in better Minecraft. Like that's gonna be fun for me to just explore that. Okay, I heard the gust of wind. So I'm curious if the more I hear the wind, if I'm going to end up uh, having my hearts turn blue. Cause that was a definite weird thing. I also really like this map feature, this waypoint thing. This is super helpful. I like might have to do this more often. I never realized this was so great. Ooh, yay, we can uh, add more iron into the mix. Okay, so with all of this iron that we found in those barrels especially, I'm definitely gonna have enough to make a full, full uh, set of gear. Get some armor. I'm also going to make a shield for trident boys like that one so they don't get me we also will need to start uh collecting up some sheeps some animals so with the bee world all we have to do is ender pearl into that and we can enter an entirely new world and i think it would be kind of cool um to do that but i don't exactly know if that's like vibes we really want so we'll see if we end up going in there i feel like it could be cool to like get specific blocks you know we're wanting like more like honey related items i'm just gonna like have my squirrel moments with collecting iron that's in these calcite groupings but i think it could be kind of cool to check it out like i've never done it 
be cool. Could be cool. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we decide to do. I was researching a little bit into it, and apparently the Bumble Zone mod, it allows you to still be able to, like, escape. Uh, you just have to, like, pillar up to world height or, like, dig down to the bottom. And it helps you, like, still get out, which is cool. Okay. We put all of our goodies in here. There we go. Look at that. And then... Yeah, look at that. So we've got all of our calcite, we've got a bunch of spruce ready, we've got our sakura ready, we've got all of the wood ready, we've got some extra potions, we've got regen, and our 15 minutes of water breathing, which is pretty good, not gonna lie. And we've got this interesting book, it's got Curse of Vanishing on it, but like, efficiency and sharpness, maybe a trident for loyalty? I'm happy with that. Then we also got our enchanting table. We've gotten brewing stands. I'm also gonna make more uh, more furnaces, but there, that's a good amount of stuff, right? Like, I'm happy with that. And then let's put these on the back side. And then we'll fill these up. And then we'll add these in here. I honestly should just like keep making furnaces because we have a lot of this to smelt up. Did I accidentally? Okay, there we go. All right, well, while that is starting to smelt up, we're gonna take our spruce and start kind of outlining our build and working on that and we'll also start getting enough uh we're gonna get geared up so we can make a chest plate finally get that on us we're going to make some boots once we're able to but now we're a little bit safer you know we're at uh five and a half for armor which is always good usually i wouldn't care as much about getting geared up but because this is wait what was this thing Sometimes the like items that flash up in here really quickly are very interesting to me. Um, we've got three. We've got some lapis. I'm very happy we found the lapis, honestly. I think this is how we make bookshelves. Sweet, we've got our three. We've got bookshelves back, which is great. And then the last thing we need is just a helmet. So now we can make the helmet. Oh, interesting. This crafting table isn't a generic one. So I don't think it will like save the things. We are fully geared up. So yay for us. I feel good about that. Now let's go and start using... Uh, we're going to start using our shovels and just uh, scooping this out and kind of clearing the space for us. So this will be good to just start getting it all cleared out. I'm excited to work on this house. The house's like size and shape is going to be kind of like two five by 11 builds kind of like connected. And I'm gonna try to keep them kind of like centered. So in the middle of one of the roofs is where the other roof line is gonna meet up so that we kind of have two connecting to each other. So we are gonna need to make enough space to have enough space for an 11 by five build this way and then an 11 by five that way. So we're going to kind of have the build be like this and then one jutting out this way. So that's kind of what we're clearing the space for. And I think once we get this little rock pile all collected up, I'm just gonna start collecting up a bunch of just grass because a lot of what we can do is just cover this over and maybe we can make this a mine later on, but if we just cover it over, it's gonna actually give us a ton of the space that I wanted. So it'll work out great, so. Just gonna collect extra, you know, calcite and such. I think it's just like a two layer deep pile. So if I just check under the stone for any calcite, then we'll be good to just fill this in with the 
the regular old dirt and I think we'll be good to go but I just I really want to make sure I like grab enough calcite because that's one of the things that uh, we'll be building with a lot okay now another thing that we have in this mod pack is the chipped mod which I've used before but it helps you get a bunch of really cool variations of the blocks so like this is dirt right but it's like it almost looks like wood but this is just dirt so with chipped we can make a ton of cool blocks like this is ice and there's different shapes but we need to make these little uh kind of like tables so i want to make one of these so we need a plank we need uh, some logs a wooden axe a crafting table and a piece of iron so let's just uh make that really quickly so if I grab some wood again, we'll make the little stems right here. We'll make this. So we've got that. Uh, we'll make a new crafting table for this. We've got our iron. We've got planks. So I think if I click on the carpenter's table and if I press this plus, it moves it into my crafting table and then I can make it. So look at this. Ready, guys? Ready? Ba -ba -da -da. Look at that. And then watch this. If I put these inside here in this log form, you can have overgrown logs, but you can have it have like different designs, whether it's uh, stripped or not. So if it's a plank form, you get all these different variations and I love it. The one that I want to use a lot of is this stacked one. I think this looks really pretty. But we're gonna first, uh, firstly, just move all of this kind of dirt and clear this out a bit more. So we're just gonna start scooping this free, obviously leaving torches here. But yeah, that's one of the things that when I was on Castaway's SMP, I, it was the first time I, it was really more like modded and it was so much fun to use it. So I'm excited to have chipped mod again. It's super helpful if you just want ways to use the same like spruce or oak logs, but have it be a little bit more fun and textured. I highly recommend using chipped mod. I'm trying to uh, drink my, my, today I have a smoothie by my side. So I'm trying to make sure I keep drinking my smoothie as we go. But let's just fill this in. And that way, no creepers or anything will spawn underneath us because it would be kind of sad if while we're trying to sleep, it's saying that we can't sleep because there's like mobs nearby. So we're gonna avoid that, not have that be our issue. But we'll just get this fully covered over. I really also like how the different blocks kind of like blend together on the edges. I think it's really cool. Definitely makes it feel more like uniform. And I really like that. Really pretty. And I'm gonna take a bunch of dirt from this area because we're going to need to fill up a giant space. Now we've got a whole stack, so this should be good. But this is the, the spot that I was saying is going to be like the harder thing to kind of cover over. Okay, be careful. Watch me just get sniped from inside this little like area over here. That would be so sad. Don't want to get sniped. No, thank you. Oh, there's lava down there. Good to know. We need some lava. I feel like going into these caves by our area is also going to be really nice. And what's nice about having our base area over this is we can kind of just like create a little mining entrance right by our house or kind of like put it inside our house and, you know, just have an easy way down there. It'll be super convenient. I'm very excited about that. And I'm also nervous about exploring the, the caves in modded. I feel like modded just adds so many more elements i'm just like not expecting so then like the things that are inside here are gonna be like really scary things and i don't know if i'm prepared for it it just sounds 
a little bit scary, but also like, honestly, it'll be so much fun. Like just new things in Minecraft, a brand new way of playing and interacting with Minecraft. I'm looking forward to, honestly. I'm also looking forward to getting a backpack. I feel like that's the, the main thing I'm like excited for. So the next thing that we're gonna be doing is setting up our shape. Now, we'll probably have to like remove some of this and we'll blend this in a bit better. Um, so if I just like start here, I want this to like be a, a hill, but I want it to blend better than it is right now more so. So like, we're just gonna kind of terraform this a little bit, not like a ton, but just enough where this feels more like put together, you know? Cause right now it's just kind of like a hole on the side, right? But even just like adding that back in, it looks way better. So we'll probably have the back side of our house start here. And we are gonna have these be stripped and they're gonna go four, two, three, four. And then if we're going 11, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is where the start is. And then we're going 5 across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That plant didn't interrupt me, so that's good. 1, 2, 3, 4. And right here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Perfect. So if we know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that this is where our main house shape is, then uh, this is going to be where the bricks are gonna go. And I think I actually had the idea of putting kind of like some pillars on the outside here. So I might end up just uh, leaving this. And I think my idea, I'm looking at uh, my monitor on the side and I put these pillars out here as kind of those markers for the spruce. And then this is going to be brick fully on the sides. So we're doing like four tall brick. So let me just take these, take these, and then let's see what we have. We've still got some coal and we'll put these away. We'll grab the rest of our clay. Do I have more coal in here? I don't, but that's okay. So we'll do this and we'll do this. And now we're going to make all the bricks. How do I, why aren't the bricks working? Bricks. Oh, it's just four. Okay, well, that saves me actually a lot. Even better, look at that. Wee. Woo. Okay, perfect. So, this is gonna be brick. I like, had made in creative mode. Uh, I made kind of this, the house that I wanted to design for our first, the long play world. And sometimes I forget what I did. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever do that. You're like, ooh, yes, this is what I wanna build it as. And then you start building and you're like, this isn't adding up. I don't know what's different. This isn't what I remembered. I really like the bricks in this. I think it's really pretty. And then like this one, two, three, four. Oh, we're out of bricks already. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of bricks for this. You know, hindsight 2020. Maybe bricks for this would not have been good, but I think it'll be really pretty, so I'm honestly okay with it. I feel like I'm just thinking like anything for the vibes. Like we want the fantasy cottage vibes. You need brick. Look at this, I love the particles. Literally my favorite. Okay, and then we're gonna first start with this, but since we kind of already have this shape figured out, and then one, two, three, four. So we can start putting these guys in again. One, two, three, four. Now with these in here, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Perfect. Look at that, one, two, three, four, love it. 
So this is going to be the first level of the house. The second level of the house is going to have calcite. And because I already know that we've got a lot of calcite, we're just going to start building the, uh, the first part of this now because it's a lot easier for us to use the calcite than how little bricks we have. So we're just going to do some of this. And then this is where our doorway can go. We'll actually put this right here because it's too tall. Put the doorway like that. And then from here, this is where at the top of this, we're gonna start adding some calcite in. So if I just do some cobble towering at the top of the bricks is where we're going to put calcite but we want this to be one two three four so this is the height that the calcite would start at so we're not going to go calcite much more above this but we are going to start on the calcite and honestly i'll probably start on the roof just because we're going to angle this roof it's going to be a pretty tall pitch just because a fantasy style house in my mind like the roof pitch is a lot higher up so this calcite we might not need all of it here so we might just kind of like angle the roof and it will cover in some of this calcite so i'm not too concerned about needing to like fully fill this in but we're gonna have calcite on this back side of the roof and then we're going to fill in the middle of the roof with some of the chipped spruce variants and regular planks and then the tr the trim of our roof is going to be our sakura wood so next what i want to do is we're going to grab a bunch of the spruce and we're going to grab a bunch of the sakura wood we're going to turn these into the planks and the stairs just like that and I'm also going to need some just like regular blocks, but I first wanted to have the stairs and the slabs. So we're going to do some of this. And then it's already getting dark. Can I sleep yet? Not quite yet. But we'll take some of these Sakura logs like that. And then we're going to need some stairs in spruce so we'll take that we'll put away the bricks and all of these different things for now uh, we'll see if i can add some of this clay in here while we're at it did i have any other okay i had more clay in here so we'll just distribute this again and then put these all away put the cobblestone away and we'll take Oh, we still can't snooze, okay. Alright, so what we're going to have our roof edge be is we're going to use some stripped logs of the Sakura. The sides are going to be filled with spruce planks. I'm also going to take some of these spruce planks. And there's a color in here that kind of looks like reddish. And that's the one I'm interested in using. I just have to see if I can find it. Sometimes it's hard to find the specific block I'm looking for but it's more of like a brick type of it. I'm pretty sure it was spruce. But we might just like test out some of these to see what we think of them and how pretty we think they are. This one, brick bonded. This is the one that I wanted. So if we look at this, look at that. And then if we put it next to a normal slab, that's kind of how it looks. And I feel like this red tone will match really well with our brick. So I'm excited to use that as kind of our like roof fill block. And then some of these darker like Sakura colors also match really warmly with this. And I think it will be so pretty. So since we're waiting for a lot of our brick to be done for our first level and filling that in, because we're going to need a lot of brick because not only is this going to be four high, this other side is going to be four high as well. So there's a lot of brick that's going to go in here. But we first have to start by making our roof and I always struggle with making the roof shapes so I'm kind of just like following the picture of what I did for the roof because in creative mode I'll usually practice roofs just so I feel like I'm confident you know because sometimes roofs are just hard you know okay so we're going here and do I have a backup axe I do okay so we're like prepared for this we're ready to go 
Now we're gonna go here. Now what's fun is we're gonna go one, two, three, but we're gonna strip all of these. And then we're going to go with the stairs upright and upside down. Then we're gonna go one, two, and then go like so, one and two, upright stair, upside down stair. And then that was two, so then this will be one. And then we'll do another upright stair and then this is where they kind of meet in the middle so we're gonna go like so like that and then we just do the same thing on the other side and then i need to make sure i strip the log too there we go now we uh very carefully make it down without hurting ourselves too badly ouch at the beginning when you don't have feather fall it's always just like Hmm, yes, this is great. I'm just gonna give myself fall damage and we'll be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> we come like this. Get rid of this one. Oops, this is the wrong way. Normal stair. There we go. Upside a down stair. One, two, three. There we go. And then right side up stair, upside down stair. One, two. If you're ever looking for how to build fantasy roofs, this is the style that I've seen online that's like an easier one. So if you're curious for trying this style, feel free. I feel like this is one of the easier styles I've like seen around like Pinterest and different places. That's like really helpful. And this roof specifically for fantasy styles, I had seen from a Drift, Infinite Drift. She made a roof style that was like pretty much this. She like added more details, but I got this kind of roof shape uh, from her. I thought that she made a roof that was very similar to this and just like obviously like different colors and things, but I loved it so much. So this was inspired by Infinite Drift. So you can go check out her, her video where she used this roof style. I think Drift is such a good builder. And I definitely get inspired by her in my own builds. So if you're looking for good Minecraft builders, I highly recommend checking her stuff out. She was also in uh, Castaway's SMP with me. So we got to vibe and hang. It was fun getting to know her. So it's also even more fun because it's like, look, my friend made this and it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. One, two, three. Ooh, we get some rain vibes. We love it. Oop. But I think what we have to do, you know, we gotta turn up the rain vibes, you know? It's just too calm, right? So I'm just gonna let the rain serenade you while I keep building this.
I was very concerned that those uh, pillagers were gonna come and say hello over there. I think they're going the opposite direction from me though. Yeah, they're, they're leaving. But what's new in this mod pack, guys, is I don't know if you noticed, these guys have axes. Like, they're very pretty axes. I kind of hope they drop them because I want one. But probably, you know, shouldn't be uh, trying to get those, I would say. It's probably not what we want to go for here. But it would be kind of cool, right? It would be pretty. But this is what the roof looks like so far, guys. So, again, it's a very tall build, but I really like how it matches with the Sakura wood really well. Like, this biome has some very, like, cool tones to it. But the Sakura and the warm cherry blossom leaves like make it really pretty and just add some warmth to it. And so I really like that the Sakura wood kind of just like pulls that in. And I think it's going to be really cool and especially when we get the side building added as well. I just think it's going to look really pretty. And right now I'm just finishing up the side of this roof. But we also are going to have another build like coming off of this roof and kind of like right in this area like attaching but I first wanted to just get this main build in place because I might end up just making a little bit of a basement so I'm kind of just like having some fun you know creative freedom figuring things out on the fly what I feel like doing so we're just gonna finish this roof here on this side and see where we're at but I really like the reddish tone that this like brick bonded spruce planks adds I think it's super pretty but we're just gonna add uh, the last bits to complete this full roof and then we'll go from there just like that now that this is done we're gonna go onto the other side and finish that up but I'm really happy with how it's coming along so far. I really have never done a whole lot of these like really tall, tall roofs on builds. And I wanted to try it out. I think it could be super fun. And it's just something different than what I've classically done. And we're going to have like a very tall second layer. And I think it's going to be really pretty. So I'm excited to, you know, do something a little different than what I would normally do. I think it's more fun. It's fun to try new styles. So I'm excited to kind of like create our own little base area with these tall roofs. And I'll probably be doing some research, looking up some like concept art for like fantasy houses and like how they really make those work well and figuring out what I feel like doing for this area. But be a fun little project get, getting to explore some new modded wood types and just using chipped and all of that to just make it just really pretty here i'm definitely excited for that just all of the options that modded allows and provides is just exciting like I love decorating in Minecraft. I would say decorating is definitely one of my favorite things to do in a world in a base area. And with modded having just way more options for that, it just makes it way more exciting for me. So I'm, I'm super hyped, honestly, to just get to do some modded and have some fun with that. So I hope uh, you're excited to just see what we get to do in this modded world. I also think it would be fun to do some streams from this world and probably using more of the stream time in this world to do more of the, uh, the adventuring aspects because I really want our long plays to just focus on building and some more just cozy vibes and getting to know this mod pack, but doing it in more of a like build focused way and then our streams can be getting to know the better minecraft mod pack and more of like an adventuring like might have some more like chaos and things but i just it'll be so fun i'm curious uh, to know in the comments how many of you have like watched people play modded but never just like tried it for yourself or if you're like a pro at modded and like better minecraft specifically i would love to kind of hear where you guys are at with uh your minecraft adventuring i think it's fun to kind of like see where everyone's at what everyone's into what parts of the the game they really enjoy the most 
I just love how we have the chipped mod just making it so pretty to just have all these different uh, variants of wood. It's so cool. So much fun. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to do is I do want to uh, add some of these. Also, guys, this is my absolute favorite thing about modded, okay? When I was in creative mode, I noticed you can, it highlights the sides of this or the middle of it, right? And you can place stab slabs like vertically. Obviously, because this is like a, uh, a modded root, like wood type, it's not letting me. But if I just take a normal slab, look at this, ready? <gasps> look at that! And I can do it on all the sides. And then if I click on the middle, it just uh, adds it. But look at that. I can have sideways slabs for the first time and I think it's just so cool. So, very excited about this possibility. So if you ever like notice with slabs, you having like options, that's why you see those because you literally get to choose and it's one of my favorite things. So I was super hyped about that. Also, why do I still have this bee stinger in my inventory? But I wanted to just make the roof look a little bit more dynamic. So every other, we're going to be placing one of these slabs, just like so. And then this roof edge goes like this too. So now looking at this, it's a little bit uh, nicer looking. I think it looks much better. And honestly, what I might do is we might just like elevate this. So let's just like fill this in because I like the idea of having the whole entire roof strip have the same just like line across it fully and having more of like that accent block, like having this line of Sakura across the top, I like even more. And then because we have this little bit kind of being elevated, what we're going to do is try this and see what I think of that. So if I stand back a little bit, yeah, I think I like that. We'll just do it every other in that way. So that way we get the full accent roof trim across the top and it just creates a little bit more dimension. And we might change this once we get the other roof line in, but for now I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. And I think it's really pretty coming along nicely. Now we need to like get back down and I wanna start working on some of the interior. Now, we know that we're going to have calcite across the top here on the ends, right? So we might as well just grab some more calcite and start placing this in. And if I just grab my planks, we'll pill her up and finish filling in the calcite. Because now I can actually like see where the calcite's going to go, right? It's not just like I'm guessing anymore. We're actually gonna pull this out one. Oops. One back. There we go. And then I'm gonna break this calcite. There we go. And then grab this and fill this in all the way. And then the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna create kind of like a trim here. And this is just gonna be kind of just like going across this line right here. So I'm just going to grab this. The one thing that I don't like about these uh, slabs is I have to be very careful where I place the slabs. And sometimes I just wanna like quickly move. And I do have to be a little bit careful where I place these. But honestly, like, Vertical slabs, I'll, I'll take it no matter what. Like, it's it's wonderful and perfect and just great. So, we're, we're happy with it. We're very happy with it. And then I'm going to grab this so I can grab these. Like that. And then we have this fully all the way across. And I'm going to fill this in as well 
just like so. And then since we now have this, I'm gonna start to add in some of these decorative slabs every other. And then I also want to have some above it. And this is where we're gonna start adding in the lanterns for this. So in the front, I also want to kind of just pull this up a bit and kind of create like a line, you know? And then right in here at this top one, we're gonna create a window and we're doing the same thing on the other side. And then in this mod pack, we can actually create shutters, like window shutters. And so we're gonna put those on the sides and we do need to get some glass. So that's one project we'll go and grab some more from. I might also try to see about getting a villager that can like, you know, give us a lot more of the, the wood because that would just be nice. But I think I also want to uh, remove this and I want to make some charcoal because I think that will last longer for us. I don't have anything else that really works well for this, but we've got our calcite and let me grab some munchies really quickly. We're going to have to start uh, collecting some more food resources because I don't have a whole lot. Because We have some carrots and some onions that we can eat and like make some, you know, food with, but we don't have a whole lot. So we do have bread though. We'll make some, uh, some hay actually. We're going to use this. We'll make a lot of bread for ourselves. There. Okay. Now I'm not as concerned about food because I literally was out. <laughs> and being out of food is always a little scary. Not about that life. Okay. So we've got charcoal. So we'll put that in. And we're just going to keep this up. We're going to keep getting a bunch of charcoal. And I think it'll help us a lot just to, you know, keep this up. Now we're going to work on the back side of this just like so and I already know that this is going to come across here so I can just start pulling this out like so and then what we're gonna do is this is the inside so let me just pop my way up here and then we can kind of just start filling this in as well like so I think I can grab all of the roof and get that fully filled in. Yep, so that's fully filled in, so that's good. And then same here, so right at this one is in the middle is where we add in our window. There we go. So then that's perfect. And then this we add to the top and then we go and add some more slabs onto the crafting table. Okay, then we're going to be able to start adding in some lanterns, which is exciting. So then we would have this one, this one, and that one. Perfect. Okay, now I know I had a few lanterns that I picked up from something. So we've got two here. So we can just start putting some on the edges. There is a little, uh, little like water well over here, so I think I'm gonna, yes, here it is. I wanna grab these lanterns from this. Perfect, okay, wonderful. Ooh, and what are these flowers? Are these the uh, Lily of the Valley? Oh yay, I really wanted to find Lily of the Valley because I love using white stained glass. That's the one I use the most. And while I think all of these are just our classic uh, gravel pits, I did want to be able to find some sand somewhere. And it's probably going to have to be down here, which is pretty far down. But at the same time, like, that's, that's okay. But we, uh, we've got lanterns, so we can add some. So let's put some lanterns on the back side so that that's lit up and we're a little bit safer. We'll put one right there and we can hop through here and just place the other one like that. Now, if we go in free cam and start getting an aerial view, 
yeah see the house looks very tall and skinny so i do like the idea of adding a house to this side and it just gives us some more space so let's grab some more resources to start kind of marking out where we're going to place that one so let's check inside here We'll probably need a little bit more spruce. I'm gonna put this bee stinger away finally because I've just left that in my inventory for so long. I don't even know why. Okay, so if we're looking at this from the side, now what I want to do is we'll probably just get rid of all of this mound here and then we'll add in the other build, the side build, right in this middle here. Because if we look at this, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we do three in, this is where our other roof will be. I have to make sure I don't look at that Enderman. Let me just look down while uh, we're doing this. That way I don't actually look at him by accident. But we'll probably just aim to put the roof for the other build into the middle more so because I think that'll just help a lot with uh, it looking symmetrical. So if we're going off of just three here, this line right here is the middle. So I'm gonna take these out just so I can kind of uh, get the idea and I'll just kind of path block this out so that I can kind of know where. And then because we are going to be making this into the similar like pillars that we got going over there, let me just grab this. We'll grab this one. And we'll use these as kind of markers, right? Because if the build is going out this far, we're going to have this come out 11 from here. So this is one, right? So we have to completely take down this little spot here. So we're gonna remove all of this and just start making some space for another five by 11 area. We'll grab some of our calcite in the process, but this is kind of the other part of like figuring out how you want to make a starter house and the size of it, the roof shape, like all of that. You kind of have to like take a step back, look at it from a little bit further away and just kind of look at it and be like, mm, do I like this? Do I not like this? And honestly, part of me right now is even thinking that, like, I made it to be five wide, but it does seem very tall and skinny. So I thought about maybe just, like, bumping it out two blocks. So instead of it being, like, five as the base, it's seven as the base. And that would mean I have to completely take down one side of the roof. But I think that the it is a very, like, skinny little entrance. It's very cozy, right? There's not a lot of space for things, but if we're adding in a whole room here, I think it'll add a lot, but I honestly think I I want to uh, widen it. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to widen it by two, and I think I'm really going to like this a lot more. So if I widen this by two, then we're just going to move these bricks. We're gonna move the the entrance. So then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So then this is one, two, three. Now that is the, the new middle. And this is gonna also help me for knowing how much space to clear out over here. So I think it's important to actually do this part first again, just so that I get this right. So then we have this and like that. And then this comes out here like so. And we go like this because this is going to be like cornered against the other. So it'll be like one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, and four. And then what we need to do is just kind of uh, prep this again, like so, like 
like so, and then we do the same one, two, three. And there we go. That was an interesting noise. I feel like some of these cave noises are like, uh, hello? <laughs> Should I be scared? <laughs> You are modded, so I don't know what you are. Are you an animal? Are you going to hurt me? Are you fine? I have no idea. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got this, now let's take some of these. And this is one, two. Then this goes up. This goes out. This goes to one. Now, because this is wider, I might do like two of these in a row. And then go like out like so. Oops, wrong direction. Like that. Now I do need to catch the new uh, middle. Which the new middle is right here. Right? So if this is the new middle. Then I'm almost there. So then me, if I grab this. And actually, I'm going to pick this up again. Pick that up. And jump. And go like so. And like so. Now, this should be the new middle. We just got to test it out. So, this is the new middle right here. So, this would actually get angled differently. Can I pick it up? Oof. Okay. I can jump up here. So now I jump up here, and now this one goes like this, and is angled like so. So that is the official new roof block, and I think this will be better. So this is three, two, two, one. And I, I already think I like this more. Just giving it a little bit more, like, yeah, just like space for the roof, I think will be great. It is going to raise the roof up like fully, so we're just going to take this down. But I think I'm going to like this more, and I also need to sleep quickly. Um, I need to sleep before the things come to get me. Um, let's just take a snooze before anything gets me. I'm just like always paranoid when I like sleep like this, that I'm just going to have all of a sudden a creeper <laughs> come and uh, surprise me. Is definitely not what I want. Alright, and if I just start moving these out of the way, then we can add these here, and we'll add in these. So we've got one. We move this. Yeah, I think moving it out was the call. One, two, three, four. I'm already, like, way happier with how this is, like, gonna look. One, two, three. Oops, wrong, wrong block. But I just think this will look way better for this area. Already happier with it. We just gotta, you know, kind of take down everything we just worked on, buddy. Okay. This is a part of the process, you know? Like, you're literally getting the, like, random, like, red figuring it out type of stuff. So this is how it goes sometimes. One, two, three, four. That stays. Nice. Okay. This is why I'm also glad we have more uh, iron. And if we need to go get more iron, we're going to. Because this will, this will be a lot. Be a, a process. Okay. Now... We've gotten that figured out, and I feel like what we should do, let's pick up all these other blocks for this. Let me grab some calcite. And then we'll fix our calcite roof too. So, let's start at the top of this roof. I feel like that's probably the play. 
have to really go for this to make it work. Okay. So let's just take this down. And then, like so. I'm holding shift to make sure I don't drop down, because I will definitely lose some health doing that. Also, I'm going to be breaking my little shoesies even quicker. But now that we, like, know the shape of the roof and everything, like, I'm not too concerned about, like, oh, we just spent all of this time, you know, because, like, now I actually really like the shape of the roof. And if, when it's widened like this, I like this just standalone, I might just leave it. But I also might just add, like, a smaller version of the roof uh, to kind of just, like, stick out. It doesn't necessarily need to be the same height. But just like a small like side room because like we could have like a kitchen in there or a little living room or just some storage just like something small like nothing needs to be like too large and since this is a very tall roof already i think we'll get some of that uh just like extra space and we can always add like a basement as we need to there's also a very interesting like storage fancy mod in here that basically just like sorts all of your chests into something. I think it was called like Tom's. I thought it was called like Tom's um, inventory. Yeah, this inventory connector thing just like allows you to put all of your chests into a like one box. Basically, it's like one chest and then you just have to kind of like tell it what you want to like recall from it, which honestly sounds incredible to just be able to be like, yes, I want you to pick this up out of my chest system and it's just like there, you know? So things like that are just very intriguing to me of how you can like make them look so, so good. And just like so, so efficient. Also, this mod pack is super interesting. If I were to take and like get rid of this little uh, slab here, this stair here, this lantern, instead of just like falling so that I can pick it up, it will actually fall and then become like a lantern on the ground, which is kind of cool. Like that's very much more of a life, like a lifelike uh, mechanic. And I think it's really cool. All right, now we move all of our blocks around. And we add in these. Just need to do the right angles. There we go. Now it'll be easier to fill this in. Okay, and we can hop up here. Now I do need to fix this, so... This is gonna be the interesting part, because if we're following this roof line, we need to do one upside down. And then I also need to just, like, remove these. So that's easier for me to build with a new thing, so this is upside down. So now this can be one, two, and three. And then we go up. And then we're doing one, two. And then we're going to do a second set of two. Oh, excuse me. There we go. There we go. And then one, two. And I do need more blacks. So we're, uh, we're just going to do this really quickly. And then we just get more stairs real quick. And there goes my axe. Nice. So place carefully, Red. Very carefully. Ooh, I think I'm going to need to... I'm gonna need to have something here 
and then this one just goes on top and then this one is angled like so now we can push this across like that and then this one goes upside down and like so and then we can finish our roof line perfect okay and then we want this to also be upside down and right side up so that's good and then we can use our staircase of lowering blocks to get down because it's not a staircase i'll like call them a staircase because it's kind of just like my stairway to get up there all the way even though you wouldn't really call it like a staircase you know it's like a, i'm pillaring so that is what you would call it all right we've got some more clay that we can add in here we definitely need to go get more like we're not we don't have enough but at the same time like this is this is doing enough for right now like it's it's helping um let's see and then we need more calcite i actually really like this just being wider that already made it look way better in my opinion like i'm actually like very happy with that yeah 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 this is good now we need iron because we need an axe there we go all right we'll put our iron back for now we'll see about uh grabbing that a little later on all right so now this is ready and then uh, let's just quickly fill this in grab these again perfect and now we can do this Oops, fill this in. There we go. And then every other, just like we were doing. Like, that did not change. We're just changing what order this, this part goes to. So now we can get rid of these ones. And then... I mean, this is no longer the middle. So let me just fill this in. We can just get rid of all of this as well. Then remove all of that. And then we can jump down here slowly. Our boots are definitely going to get a workout, <laughs> just with uh, how much we're probably going to be falling throughout making this but you know the fall damage i feel like is like a normal <laughs> a very normal thing to have have happen uh frequently when you're starting a world because there's it's almost impossible to get feather fall like right off the bat so it's just inevitable that you're just gonna end up taking fall damage dealing with that just so much fun right okay now let's start up here I feel like just scattering these is the best thing that I know how to do, but sometimes I just get paranoid that I'm just like putting them in the wrong order. 
that it will just look too, like, uniform. But I think that looks good. And then now we do this one. We get the stairs. I will say if I can get Swift Sneak, just being able to build easier would be quite nice. And then we do another stair. Perfect. And let's see how this is looking. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna like that a lot better. And I feel like having kind of like maybe a little side room for something will be nice. Just to have kind of like, I don't know if we want to use it as like a greenhouse, a kitchen, but just like a little building on the side will be nice. So we're definitely going to do that. We just get to figure out what we want to put there. Okay, and then like so. And then look at that, looking good. And now more stairs. All right, and then this is also stairs. And we need more blocks and we need more of these ones too. So it's like, okay, maybe we do just go down. Alright, so let's just make our way down. I'm trying to think like where I left a staircase of some kind to get down. I think over here. Oh yeah, that's that's not exactly close, but this is easy enough. And I need to make a pickaxe as well. But yeah, that's gonna be much nicer. Much, much nicer. I like it. I'm really happy that we're just able to grab the free cam angles to tell us exactly where we should be moving things to. It's very helpful to have free cam. It makes building just way easier for me, so I'm a big fan. All right, we've got that. Got 10 more, which is wonderful. All right, now I need to get some more spruce. Actually, we'll just use this up. And then this one. And then go all the way back up and add it in. But I think I actually am going to start working on this other side because I do have to kind of like tear down some of it just because this needs to be two, which isn't like changing a whole lot. Uh, it is changing some of it. And actually, I quickly need more of the, the Sakura as well. So let's quickly just uh, tower up to fix this like right here. There we go. So now this can be two. And that will fill in as well. Now we do stairs. And now this is just one. Like so. Perfect. So it's not like we're fixing like a whole lot. It's just really doing a little bit of extra to just certain spots on it. But now we can do the full way across too. So let's just quickly get some of these in place, get some stairs and grab our crafting table. 
now that oh yeah and we need to just like fix this up because we don't need stairs here anymore since this is going to be two layers of just regular planks then we can also fix this side so we'll just do that quickly so this is two and then we go up one like so one like so and then across so like this then we can just fix this and then we're taking all of these and going all the way across to make the top rim trim just look way better and then every other we were gonna go like so there we go and now we can just finish off this side of our roof as well which then lets us finish this section down here And I want to swap these out. And then if I free cam. Yeah, I think it's nice. And we are going to add a bunch of different uh, like leaves and decorative blocks onto this. So it will look better than just even this will. So I'm excited for that. Now let's move these. Go, and then this is the stairs again. And we need more stairs, so we use our crafting table. I don't think I'll need more than eight, but you know, I think I only needed four realistically, but I'd rather have more than not enough. Now we can put these back here there we go and the roof is fixed look at that now we just need to fix the calcite on the front and did i fix the calcite on the back definitely not so now it's just calcite fixing which doesn't really take like super long because you're just kind of filling in where you left off right So now, if I take these, go across like so, and like so, then we can just fill this in. Now, if this is the new middle, then this is totally okay to be here, but this is just one too wide, and I like them to be three tall. So maybe we do this a little bit further down, because I liked the idea of it being in line with this. So let's just close that, and let's uh, look at this. I feel like we'll probably do two sets of windows, but we'll do the windows on the end of the project once we are just working on more of like the detailed blocks. So let's grab these. We'll use the calcite to fix this area once we go to sleep. Okay. Now we can start pillaring our way up. We're gonna bonk our head pretty soon here, but that is okay.
There we go. Okay, perfect. Now, it wasn't like I had a whole lot to fill in, really. But we're just gonna get this filled in. And I think I got all of it. Yeah. Okay, there's some down there, but we'll uh, get that in a second. But now that we have this entire roof done, which feels good, very exciting to have this done, honestly. We're just gonna like create an opening for something that would be like a window just so I can kind of get the idea of it. And it kind of helps me know where the center is so that when we're doing this part here, you know, we kind of uh, know where we're placing everything. Because then, oops, then what's going to go there is our lanterns. Alright, so we've got our lanterns back. Perfect. Okay, now I still want to end up adding a side room, so we're still going to work on that. That is still a priority. We'll just cover this in. And then I'm trying to figure out the size of this. So this is at one, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So we could do like a little uh, side room right in this middle here. I think that would look nice. So then this would stay here like so. And then this would get moved out. Move this out as well. And then the roof line would probably like come up to like right in here or so. So if we get the one, two, three, this is that line. So this bottom one here. So this would be where the roof line would kind of go to. We're not gonna go exactly that low. It's probably gonna be like somewhere up here, but just to give me like an idea of what we're shooting towards, what we're aiming towards in making the new roof line. But I already think that just like this being more spacious is gonna help a lot. Cause what I do wanna do is use some oak, but I started using a lot of my oak for other things. So I don't have a lot of it left is the thing. Um, so let's do some more spruce i kind of want to put the floor in but i want to do two different floors so i want to have a more like checkered one for our kitchen area and then there's this wider beam one that i like for the living room floors so let's do some of that and then our checkered one tiled let's do some tiled so the tiled is where we're going to add this like side room to, but let's do this first. And then we just add this in. I just really liked how chip mod gives you like different floors. Like that's just so fun to me. And this makes our house like a lot bigger, which I'm really glad I decided to make this a little bit wider now. So then we can just add these in. Like so. 
and then one, two, three, four, five. But it's coming along. I'm happy with it. I'm just taking more in case I want more for later. Perfect, look at that. Yay, it's coming together. Love it. Okay, so now we've got some bread so we can eat. Take a snack break. It is really hard to have unenchanted tools in this process. I think I always forget just how nice it is to have enchanted tools until I'm working without them. And then I realize how slow the beginning stages of building and creating in Minecraft can be. But I still enjoy it. I feel like it's always nice to have a good reminder of like the way things used to be, you know, like going back to the days when you didn't have as good of items. Where did you come from, sir? <laughs> wow, that was our first monster. <laughs> Look at us go. <laughs> what day are we on? Day 14. Finally killed a monster. <laughs> nice. Me just like running away from every single monster I've seen so far. Kind of checks out that that would actually be the case. It's kind of funny, but you know, not too surprising when I'm literally running away from everything. Pretty funny though. Like 14 days into this world and I'm just killing my first zombie. Or just mob in general. Unenchanted iron tools are just making me cringe right now. I'm just like watching how slowly these break and I'm just like, why can't you be different? Why can't you be faster? I like the speed at which like calcite breaks. Calcite is breaking really easily, which is great. And look so. So, and then get rid of this one. All right, now let's kind of figure out how far out we're going to place these, right? So if we want this to be one, two, three, Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I would say, if we're gonna do an offshoot. No, let's do nine, so seven, eight, nine. Let's see how this looks. One, two, three, four. go and then let's just see how this goes i feel like just doing one two is better and then we go up yeah yeah, yeah. this is this is the the right distance because now this is that middle block right that works. Okay, and then if I look at this. Do we want it to be higher? I almost think it should be higher. I feel like it should like reach this side. Right, so maybe we go a little bit further out.
So instead of two, we go three. I feel like that's probably the play. But this is why we test it, you know? Like I wanted to know how high the roof would look and what it would look like and if I thought it looked good. So let's do this. We take one out. Because then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then I think it'll look better. Then we have three on this side and three on this side. So technically it still works just fine, which is good. Every time I see that hammer, I already uh, think that like there's some like monster which is kind of funny. Okay, so let's grab these. And grab these. Fill those in. And then we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like probably nine. And it being wider will be good. And then we'll just expand this. It's also interesting on the bottom right corner, it's like counting what new blocks that I'm like collecting and how much I have that I've like just newly collected up, which is super interesting. very interesting little mechanic that it adds. All right. So then if this is just in the opening, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Perfect. So this is, this is actually where we would put these is the bricks will be placed differently. So it would look like this. So, and then we add these in, one, two, three, four. Now let's try our roof. See if we like this better. And one, two, I think we could try for three. Let's try it. Let's see how that feels with doing three. Cause I can still see where the roof needs to meet, which is good. But I do like how already this is like way taller. I think this will work way, way better for all of this. And then if I go like this, I'm still like not close enough. So I think we're gonna have to do like one, like two little ones at the top. And then this is the block. Yeah, I think it'll be better when it's taller. Hmm. Or maybe we just leave it a little bit shorter. Is that zombie in my house? Where are you spawning, sir? Hello? You're not in my house. Where are you spawning, sir? I need to be careful. This skeleton, though. He's he's ready to snipe me. He's ready for it. Okay. Let me just look at this map. Look at our house coming together. It's so good. Ah, uh, and here's the little, like, offshoot. I like it. I almost want to just like leave it right here, but it's not like even yet. <laughs> decisions, decisions, right? Okay, let's leave that for now. Let's kill a skeleton.
That was quicker than I thought it would be, honestly. Well, Magma Cube looks different. Right? Magma Block. That looks very different. Looks kind of cool, though. Oh, and now I'm dripping wet because I got my armor all soaked. Oh, did I get hit in the arm? It is my arm. Oh, my goodness. Got an arrow arm. Not what I expected, but it's fine. I should uh, definitely make some more chests here. And do more of the dirt and cobble and like wood stuff in there. Oh, and there's an arrow as well. Okay, so we have one, two, three, and four, and then we'll just strip down all of these. There we go. And then we have one, I did three, two, three. And then we go up one, like so, we do two. And then we come here. And I think I just had one. Now, if we're looking at this, I think what I would do is let's use this really quickly. Let's make some more stairs. And then, let's do this. Yeah, I like that. Dot go. Where are these placing? Hello? Sometimes these slabs, because I have so many more options for placing them, it gets me a little confused. Because it felt like I was like placing a bunch over there, but I don't see any, which makes it very odd. A very confusing. Okay. Back to it. Do the top, like so. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this will be nice. I'm excited for this. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I was hoping for. All right. Now we've got some of these guys to take care of. And we need some stairs, like so. There we go. Now I'm gonna need to get a lot more, but for now we should be okay. Just keep this up like so. It's not what I wanted. See, that's the part that'll get me, just placing them on the wrong sides. Now, it's just the one. All right, perfect. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think this will be nicer just to have more space in our house, so I'm here for it. Okay, and now we go down, fixing oops, the rest of the wall, picking up all the blocks we dropped. I am really excited to see how this will look. I think it will be wonderful. And then we've got all these other blocks for our kitchen area, which will be even better. Ooh, there's some coal down there. Hello, coal. Ooh, I actually really like that. It's really pretty. So it's tiled spruce is what that is. Yes, yes, this will be wonderful. It's exciting to be building in some modded worlds. I think it's really fun. I just like can't get over just like, there's more variety for things. It's very fun, I enjoy it. I am enjoying my time in modded so far and I'm excited to just like see what else is around here. I do wanna be able to go and grab all the gear and loot that is probably just chilling inside that piglin area. And I think that if we are able to just uh, get some better gear, we'll be like ready and like fine to go and deal with it, which will be awesome. Not where I want to be. Where's some dirt to help me tower up? And out of there. Alright, we're just gonna do it this way real quick. Nice. I'm liking it. I'm on along lovely. And then this will go up there. So this is gonna like fully come into here so that this is kind of just like an extra wall that it's not really like seen as much from that perspective. Oh yes, I do need to fix this area though. There we go. Okay. Now another thing I wanna show you guys is what the doors look like. So this is the Sakura door and I think they're so pretty. Look at that. And this matches our wood tones so well. Like look at this, beautiful. Like, actually it works so, so well. I love it so, so, so much. I think it's beautiful. And what's fun about this is now that it's wider, I can actually put some little windows in here and make some cute little windows. See, look at that, little windows. But I, I love how these doors look. I think the Sakura doors are so pretty. So I was super excited when I like saw that that's how it looked because I think it's just really pretty. And then we've got more bricks. We're definitely gonna need to go back and get more. This is uh, not enough for what we need, but it's a, uh, we're, we're getting there. You know, we're slowly getting enough. Now what I need the rest of this is we're gonna need a bunch of calcite because this is still going up four, right? So this is still going up all the way, but then we're also going to have our calcite that's gonna be one in as well. So our calcite is gonna be like here, like that, but not in this spot. 
just across like so because we're gonna make our roofs look the same all the way across make it look uniform And we do need to fix uh, what we're gonna do for the calfit at the top since we did use just the lab, so it's not gonna be perfect. But we'll probably just use some like sneaky decorating, like hiding tactics to just kind of keep this from uh, just being like an open bit at the top. <laughs> but I also want to make sure we get uh, a window in here. So I'm just gonna open that up for now and we can uh, deal with that later. So let's just clean that up. Then we can put them back. We're also definitely need to get going to need to go looking for more iron because I'm running out. I have two left. That is not enough. And our house is definitely not safe yet because we're still just open walls exposed everywhere so i can't even say it's like a super safe house <laughs> but it's we're making progress we're, we're working towards it we're trying we're doing our best okay so now let's look for some more of our resources and i do want to look at some of my screenshots from the house that i made because I used some oak for the floor in some parts, but mostly used spruce. So for our ceiling, let's just use some spruce. Just some normal spruce. And we still need to like finish the roof on this side, so maybe we should do that first. Because it looks a little funny to have it kind of just hollowed out right now, so let's let's just finish the roof. I'm trying to like go back and forth between like getting everything done and not forgetting about things, but I want it to like, you know, be done and look cute and all of that. Okay. So here's this. So we've got our two types and we'll make some more stairs to the other side. And now we use calcite and finish this off. And we also need to uh, use some sakura, make some stairs. And then come up here. And then if I remove this one, also doing it the wrong order, there we go. Alright, then we come across here. And this is actually going to be moved, because we need to have something here. And we just scatter these in the rest of the way. And this shouldn't be here, because we need a full box. There we go. Nice, yeah, this is looking good. And what is going on here? Oh, this needs to be turned in like so, there we go. Ooh, I don't like that, that has to be like this. 
Okay. Well, that looks good. Much better. Now we go down one more layer and finish this side out. Sweet. And that just full filled in properly, which is great. Oops, not calcite. Okay, now if I go back, yeah, I like this. Look at that. Oh, okay, I'm happy with that. And then we're just gonna fix the roof bit and then we have to do the other side completely. But I do like the size of this. I think this is definitely a much better fit for this area, so I'm happy with it. And then if I hop on top of this, it'll just be easier to put these stairs together. So this will be good. And then if I remove this, that goes together nicely. I can remove this now. And then... I can fill this in. trying to like figure out how often I should be placing these because I don't want it to be like too overwhelming with the color but I feel like I'm still doing a good job with it oh no I fell there we go now we do this the stairs come into play and then we make those shift a little bit. These have to move. There we go. And we'll remove the this one because we don't need a stair there. And then I am gonna sleep quickly. Just because I feel like there's gonna be things starting to spawn near me. I should probably move my house inside soon. Even if I'm still missing some brick, like we can at least move it to the top level where I can like actually make a floor and everything. Because once we have a floor, like we're way better off. <laughs> this is gonna be where our floor is so just like knowing that I can have like a second level even is gonna be nice just to know like okay I will be safe I can just put my bed up here make a staircase even like I will be safe it will be good All right, let's jump up here. And then come back up here. We need more of these guys, so we'll take more stairs. There we go. And then this, I want this to uh, connect like it was. There we go, perfect. Now that's just the one. There we go, and then we have stairs. Then we'll use this again. Make even more stairs. Curious where that zombie is coming from, because I really 
don't see him on the minimap anywhere, so I'm always curious, like, you're trying to scare me, but, like, where are you coming from, even? Okay. Now, let's do some of these. Some of these. And then these should work the rest of the way. I wish that these would have like a texture for the side, but it's kind of funny that like this mod pack was developed, but they don't have that texture for the one. I think it was kind of funny. Oh wait, yeah, actually this shouldn't be this. This should not be this. What am I doing? I'm being silly. Like, this should be completely brown, not every other like I was doing. Oh boy, oh boy. We got some fixing to do. <laughs> Sometimes I just, like, get in the zone of building, and then I'm just completely forgetting what I should actually be focusing on. Works great when you're, like, trying to, you know, get something done, be quick about it, all of that. So, so well. Just, just works so great. You guys were probably like, um, is she like changing the color palette for there? Because it seems like she is. Nope, just, you know, getting lost in my own thoughts and just, you know, getting in the zone, placing block zone. Too funny. All right. Now I am running out of blocks, but we have lots of spruce, so we just have to, you know, go and make more blocks for all of this stuff. All right, and we go looking for the correct blocks. Some spruce. Okay, and then I'll turn that into regular blocks. More stairs for us. I literally don't know what I was like thinking and doing it that way. It's kind of funny. I wish one of these builds could just be like filled with a uh, brick. Ouch. Try again, there we go. Because if this was like filled with, like one of these builds were filled with brick, like one of those houses that we raided, you know? Like, I don't remember any of them having brick, but if they had brick, it would make it a lot easier to finish our little project here, right? Okay, I feel like the exterior of the house is always the part that's like the hardest because it's like you're committing to a style and a shape and it just takes me a bit longer to figure out what I want that to look like. So let's look at this in free cam now. Yeah, I think this will be nice. Our nice little fantasy house. Yep, I'm a fan. Just adding to it. Alright, next, we do have a lot of these blocks, which is our roof, so let's just get a roof in. Because once I have the roof in, it's a lot easier to just start decorating it, making it look cute, all of the fun stuff. 
modded decorating is literally like i'm so hyped for it for this it's gonna be so fun and then the walls are gonna go here yep i'm like checking myself like yes the walls will go here now what's fun about this is I have a much larger space for us to have like a kitchen. Up here we can have a living room, we can have a full on storage area. It's gonna work really nicely to have this set up how it is now that we've made it much bigger than even what I made in my just creative world. Like this is a much larger build, but I think it's gonna be way, way better for what we have. And we are officially out of the spruce wood so we're gonna need to go looking but before we do i do want to like crack into this wall here and just see what we got going on because i didn't need all of this here right because this is gonna be our inside this is gonna be the floor We'll put a torch in here for the sake of lighting and keeping things from being too scary. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, wall-wise, this has to stay here. This is literally a part of the build. So my thought is, if we open this up, I still have to finish that one side as well, but this is just like getting a head start on a lot of the pieces of this. Okay, now the thought is, if we fill this up with all the proper blocks, now what we could do is this is probably where we would make the wall so bring this down so this would be a wall too on both sides so that this is three wide and this is three wide and then this will be the walls and i think that will work really well um i'm i think that will be great we just need a staircase to get up here now and i kind of feel like so this is where the wall is. So we need to come in by one. And if I'm thinking about like where I'd put like stairs and things, I think I would want to have a staircase. Maybe we come from like back here. So it's like this. Actually, let's pull this in one. Let's do here. Because then we can put some other, like, items below it, like some crafting tables, things like that. And then we'll make this be a wall, too. So this will be fully filled in. So this will be filled in like so. move our bed just so it's a little bit safer things can't really see me as easily to get me you know i feel like that's smart I'm trying to be clever about all of this ah <sighs> and now we have such a nice space to be decorating but we do need more of our spruce so we're gonna go on an adventure i am running out of iron so we are uh, back to stone tools we have gone from being primitive and yeah back to primitive so we we went so far we got so far <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to find some iron along the way honestly that would be wonderful all right well we've got bread we've got everything we need so let's just grab our bed I feel like it'd be smart if I grabbed my bed this time. Just because I almost left it over by where we were like hunting for some clay. But if I grab my bed this time, it'll be a little bit safer. 
Now what's nice about this mod pack is you just have to hit it once and you're you're good. I'm also gonna move where we have ooh, there's some iron. Let's pick that. Grab that while we can. There we go. We got an axe right here. Beautiful. And some coal. It's interesting how there's like almost like different shapes of coal. You know what I'm saying? Like all this coal looks a little bit different. Okay, and we'll just grab some of these quickly. I'm really glad that we live in an area where there are a lot of just like pockets of coal and iron. So it makes it way easier to just quickly fill things fill up my furnaces when I need to, get more iron if I need it. Hi Foxy, hello little dude. <gasps> Moo Bloom. I really want them to come home with me. I want them to live in harmony with me forever because they're just so cute. There's that wind blast thing again. Alright, let's see if I can one-chop this, or if I have to old-school chop. <gasps> Yay! Woo! <laughs> ah, so much easier. Literally the best. What's interesting is not all of them work like that. Oh jeez, I forgot about the snow thing. Okay, hang on. Let's just take a moment. Take a breather. See, we already got a stack from that tree. Amazing. I have to always get rid of all these snowballs. But the snowballs fill up my inventory so, so quick. Okay. All I want are the saplings and the wood. So as long as I can get the saplings and the wood, we're in a good spot. Alright, now I started to chop this because some of them can aren't the, like, you can't chop them with just the one block, which I don't understand. Like, some of them are too big. Too big for the mechanic to work. Oh, 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 hello. Okay, now you are, alright. I guess that changes. That's interesting. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. It's kind of nice. Okay. I need more wood. All right. Let's see if I can grab one of these ones and then we'll get going. I'm trying to like check to make sure this isn't going to be powdered snow. If ever you see like a tiny little layer on top of it, it's not powdered snow. So that's my hack to like figure out if it's powdered snow or not. I use it quite regularly. Got a nice little pond there. Lovely. I love how the cherry and the sakura are everywhere. It's just so beautiful. <gasps> Oop, and there's some more spruce. Oh, hello. Wait, what is that? This looks like a mushroom. Hello. We're gonna do a sneaky. Oh my gosh, wait, there's like a ton of little mushrooms all lit up. <gasps> what is this? Hello. Well, we might have to explore. Oh, look at this. There's like little mushrooms everywhere that have like lanterns on them. Is there anything like in here? 
or is it just little cute things? Oh, I like that. That's so fun. I think we should be good. So I'm not really like needing to get more. Also crazy how quickly. <gasps> Hi guys, hello. You're so adorable, but I'll leave you alone because I know you're scared of me. But just know that I think you're adorable. Okay? Okay. Pew. It's kind of fun to throw the snowballs, not gonna lie. Yeah. And we can also grab some books in there for our enchanting table. Love that. Okay. We should have enough spruce now. We should be good. Hello, little ant. Oh my gosh, he literally said hello back. Did you guys hear that? He went, hello. In his little squeaky ant type of a way, you know. But he, he said it. He said hello. How adorable is that? <laughs> All right. Oh yes, we got coal now, so we're, we're looking good. Let's put that in there. And I think that was all of the clay that we had. I don't think there's anything else we need to like cook. But we do need to finish the floor. And then we'll fill in our walls. Now what's fun about having the walls be this wide is this allows me to put barrels on the sides of this and that is our storage instead of having like just your regular chests here. We can have some chests but we can largely just put a ton of barrels in here and I think it's going to work so well. But what's also fun is we can have fun little barrels inside the chipped workbench so we're definitely going to use that to just uh, make them more interesting to say the least so let's let's go check that out but let's first uh, finish closing this out and since I don't have my axe anymore there we go and we can just put our bed there I might change where I have my staircase located. Might be something we can do a little tweaking to. We'll change. Okay. We can have an axe back. And a pickaxe. All right, beautiful. So now if I make a barrel i think i need slabs this is where i like start forgetting is it like so all right i'm forgetting a barrel standard barrel oh it was the other way okay the big logs all right all right all right so like so except we want more like that barrels and then we need like this like so make it all even now if I do the carpenter's workbench we can get more barrel varieties which is super fun a spruce barrel I think I want to do a spruce. Ooh, a reinforced crate. Actually, let's try. Let's look at this and let's look at this one. I think these are the ones I'm going to be most interested in. I love how even though I literally just have a normal barrel, I can choose like any type of coloring that I want. Like they're so pretty. I like the echo though. The echo is super pretty. Ooh, a Sakura barrel. That's fun too. It is dark. 
I almost just closed my door. Literally so many other walls and ways for me to like have other people come in. It's fine. All right, so now let's test this. So there's this one, that one, and that one. I think I like reinforced. It like stands out enough, but also I like the slats. So let's make some reinforced spruce crates. I like it. I have to now find where they went. That's how they look, okay, perfect. Alrighty, now we go try these out. And now I know I don't have as much storage as a double chest, and I'm kind of okay with that. Like, I'm probably just going to use uh, some of both. And we're gonna use some of the Sakura too for like some shelves and things. So I'm gonna grab these. So if we go like so, like so. can have a bigger window here and then hmm let's see where should we put these These are kind of like some of our kind of more like work environment, workspace areas. Which I think is good. So then instead of this being here, ooh, can I make a Sakata one? I don't have the wood for it, but we can make a Sakura one. So I think we're gonna put the Sakura one there. We'll have a nice big glass window right there. We'll fix this issue. And then we can just have some barrels along the sides. Also, I really like how the better Minecraft mod like works the crafting table because if i walk away it still holds the items on there so that i can come back to it and keep crafting which i think is super unique i just i just can't get over it i'll just keep mentioning it because it's so cool okay so we've got some barrels over here we've got some chests on this side Take those away. Honestly, hmm. I might just use the reinforced barrels for downstairs for in our like kitchen area. And this will be more of like our chest like work area because if I fill this in, I can have all of these walls be filled with just chests, which is honestly more ideal for storage. So I kind of want to try that. And we'll do two wide on both sides. And then let's do these ones. I 
Okay, I feel like that should be good. Now as far as where our roof is going to go, let's put that right here. I'm not sure if I really like it being this high. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a, uh, whoops. The free cam in uh, Better Minecraft, or at least this version of it, doesn't let me like go through the walls like I used to be able to. I can like slide through these little windows and things, but otherwise it doesn't let me be sneaky and go like through the walls and like see into caves and things, which I kind of wish it would because then I could like easily like get out of my house because I get stuck right it doesn't let me go through the blocks unless i can like find an exit so then i can't really tell where i want a window or not right like that's the one piece where i'm like oh and this is interesting to say the least and then we go here Now, part of me thinks I just drop this down one. Let me see how that looks. I actually think I like that better. Because now this is one, two, three. Yeah, I think that's good. Because this way, I can also close off the roof for the same, on the same length as like the rest of this. So now the roof is symmetrical across the entire thing. It's not like an uneven like ceiling. I keep saying roof. This is a ceiling, Red. You are making the ceiling. Sometimes you just start saying things, and then you're like, "Hold up, <laughs> these 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 words aren't right." <laughs> Not the right words. Okay. I'm liking it so far. We just need to uh, have some more light in here because it is currently pretty dark. Okay. Cool. Now... With this area, we can have this be more of like the kitchen area. So let's get our floors. This is tiled spruce planks. So let's get more of our floor in place. So tiled spruce planks. I need to remember what these look like. Tiled spruce planks, this is it. Alright, now we go in and clean this all up. And I think instead of going to get more bricks, I say we start looking for granite. And I feel like granite will be a lot easier for us to find. So I think that's what I want to try for next, is just looking for granite. But I do like how just like the floor panels being different just like adds so much to it. I really like just that small change and what it can do. Planks. I always feel like I grabbed enough 
resources and like blocks and then it's never enough. So this is going to be tile. And then this will just be filled in. So let's start looking for some of our granite. I think that'll be a nice thing to, you know, keep an eye out for. Not exactly sure where to find granite. There's a bunch of dripstone, right? That's not granite. A lot of dripstone. Mostly dripstone. Ooh, there is some granite here though, but do we want to go deep down into this cave? A little bit spoopy, a little bit scary. I feel like I should sleep first. Let's start there. Start with the sleeping. Okay. Now, I feel like I should eat some food, bring my bed, and I think we are going to wander our way down there. I think getting some granite to mix in with this will also look really good. And I'm pretty sure we can do some granite. Yeah, see, look at this. There's even granite that we can kind of use on the chipped. We do need to make a mason's table though. So that is the one thing that we need to have. And we don't have a mason's workbench. So we need to make one of those first and foremost. But I think for now, we're just gonna take some cobblestone we're gonna take some of these torches and bring them with us. And then we have some food, but let's make some more hay. I'm not gonna use all of the hay up. Oops, I'm not gonna use it all up because I do wanna make sure I save enough for when we get some animals around, but I feel like that should be good. But we can make a little trail of light to guide our way. And hopefully keep us safe. Spooky. Spooky cave. Yeah. Uh, love that. Love that so much. There's like atmospheric echoing with Better Minecraft too, which is interesting. Not used to that. I think it's nice though. Like I'll take it. But it's just kind of like makes it more like spooky, but just more atmospheric. I really like it. Okay, now to find the granite. I think it should just be one of these pillars. I also don't have a shield, which is also not a good plan. You're there. Okay, there's the granite. I can hear skellies. Oh. Um. Um. Hey, what if we just do this? They don't get to get to us, you know? Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. I don't want anything dropping on me. There's so much granite right there with this water. Okay, maybe we try to dig in here and go towards the water, yeah? I feel like if we stair step our way towards the water, it'll be perfect. Oh, it's interesting how the like sound changes when I'm like in a little tunnel here versus just straight in the cave. I don't know if you noticed that change in the uh the acoustics in here but it definitely changed a little bit which is kind of cool it's 
kind of fun to have those little things about the game. Okay, well, that dude is like, ow, stepped on that thing. Okay. Don't like him. Not a fan. He could be brave. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we could be brave, or he could just leave. <laughs> That's the, the preferred method. He just leaves. Much preferred. Okay, so if I just create an air pocket, I should be okay to just like stay in here, right? I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh no, I'm not fine. I thought I was going to make an air pocket down there. Maybe I need to go up one. Okay, that's what it was. I was like, I need to make an air pocket. Because then it's way easier to mine. I like how there's different ores in this. It's so cool. Come on. I just want to like get through all of the copper ore and just start collecting up the actual granite. That's what I'm really after. There we go. Okay, we're safer now. I'm feeling better about this. So that's my little marker, so I know this is where I came down, and then now we can kind of see like how much granite we're collecting. I feel like if we get like two stacks, because then we can have mostly uh, different variations of the granite and mix in some of the brick, but it won't be like mainly the brick, so this will save us a lot of time. Especially with chipped, I feel like chipped just makes everything so much easier in that way. So I'm a big fan of the chipped mod. I do like how you can get different like ores inside different types of like rock and granite. Ooh, what are you? Asphalt. What can I make with you? Is this like, can I make a road? Let's, let's take a look. What can you do with asphalt? Oh, okay. So it's literally just like another building block. You can make polished asphalt stairs okay interesting so nothing too crazy not like i need to collect it right now or anything but it is it's cool now it'll be interesting trying to make it back up to the surface but it shouldn't be too difficult. I'm just curious to see how many more mobs are gonna be around. I was hoping that by me placing the torches that will make it a little easier for me to like not get found out. But our pickaxe is once again almost on the end, so I feel like we should go back because there was some iron there that if I can grab the iron. Oh. Okay, just one one little dude. One little piece. Alright. Well, I guess that's okay. And then we come over here. One more up. Let's uh, eat some bread before we might have monsters coming for us. Because if we look on our map, they're not like all around us. This is very glitched though. Hey, look, it's like a chicken jockey guy. Oh, I hear you. Oh, are you right there? Yes, no thank you to that. No thank you whatsoever. Heh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> it's fun. Alright, I'm ready to pillar with all of my blocks, but I think we're good. We brought our bed, we didn't even need it. It's nice and sunny out here. I thought that calcite was a skeleton and I was about to be like, oh boy. 
we're about to go fighting for our lives again. <laughs> Except they have the high ground. So not ideal. Oh, but look at our little build over here. <sighs> look at that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be beautiful. I'm excited. I'm glad I thought to use a bunch of the granite because this is gonna make it so much easier. Okay, so I need the mason's workbench for stones. So if we do this, oh gosh, it's expensive. So we need a brick and we need clay and I have neither of those. So maybe huh, we we just start with the, the classic, uh, we just use some of our granite and start there. We do have the uh, the irons. We literally just need one clay ball. That's hilarious. Just one, one little, one little guy. Too funny. But honestly, I feel like it's better used uh, as a tool than anything else. So that's what we shall do. Oh yeah, this looks really good. And then we'll use this. I don't know why I keep putting it in the wrong, like, keeps going in the wrong spot. And now we go sleeping. I'm trying to like, I always have to focus on the pattern that I want to do. Just to make sure I have it where I want it to ha be. Grab these. Those are our cute little windows. I'm going through so many iron pickaxes from all of our building. It's kind of crazy. Poor, poor little, poor little axe. You know, just so much to build. Some over here and some over here. Mix that in. And then we'll mix that in. I feel like I want a window here though, so maybe we'll just keep a three by two window. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. And then, yeah, I'm a fan of that. Now I need to just grab some materials from over here. Just so that we can blend this in a bit more. And then grab this. Grab some more there. Okay. 
I'm probably gonna run out of these again, but you know it's okay. We're figuring out how to blend this well. And that takes a little bit of time in figuring it out. Okay. Now over here. We can grab some of those. Grab some of those. Yeah, I feel like this is looking good though, as far as like... The blending of it all. I think it looks really good. And if we add some more... Just... You know, windows in here will give us back some resources. So, maybe let's do... So I'm just gonna like fill in this wall quick. And then we can kind of decide where we want to put some windows. But from the outside, I feel like this should be a window. And there's two here, so we do two here, then this would be a window. And this would be a window. And if we step back, I don't know if I like having these. Maybe I just do this. I don't like it being that wide of a window. Okay, nice. And the, from this front here. So yeah, this is like even, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So then this is all good. And if we did the same thing, over here. We'll grab some of our resources back here as well. We can finish that wall. This is sometimes how I do it. I'm like, I want windows. There we go. All right. So we've got some windows and now we can finish this. go getting it all filled in looking nice let's do one here all right perfect and that honestly like used the that used up exactly what we had for granite so that's amazing that that worked out so well so now we have the inside the walls are all done. Now this, I kind of want to be a little bit of like a working area because we have the stairs here. But then we've got our stairs. This will be the bedroom. We'll kind of have like a little living room here, chests down these little halls here. So now we can kind of get into decorating more. Now, if I'm looking at these different ropes, I'm trying to remember interesting can i like climb the rope <laughs> Wee, that's fun i don't like how these ropes look so i've used these before and they can kind of create like a railing so i think i want to use these up upstairs because that will look really nice and then we'll use these for some of our like chairs and I also want to use some of these to make some signs. Because I did want to put signs on some of those. So we're going to do that as well. Alright, so we got 16. So now, let's quickly... 
Let's actually swap out our staircase here. Ooh, our, our house is echoey even. Interesting. Do you guys hear that? Do you notice that? There we go. Because now, this will just look a little bit nicer. If we want to use, like, stairs for anything. Oh, I was like, where did my axe go? It disappeared. now it looks kind of like we have somewhat of a little uh like a shelf like a working space like that but now for our kitchen i want to move all of our furnaces in here and i want to make some campfires so we're gonna need some coal and uh, let's just do a campfire so not a lot for campfires Nice, okay. So, what, how did we do a campfire? So it's just the sticks, the coal in the middle. Um, I think four should be enough, because we have four of these guys. Now, a smoker should just be one of these with logs around it, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it legs what is a smoker i thought i had it right so we'll do our smoker oh they're stripped interesting i didn't know they were the, they had to be the stripped ones well okay then fine We will do this for the sake of the smoker, because then we can get our meat smoking up quicker, which would be great. I think, like so. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we've got smokers, we've got everything we'll need. Bonfire lit, look at that. And yes, I'm trying to pick up all my blocks, even though I'm hurting myself, I'm aware. Okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh, yay. That looks so nice. Ah, this place is looking cozier and cozier. When we're finally able to like add everything in to make it cozy, I'm already just loving it so much. It's great. Okay. Now, I had some barrels. I had like a bunch of barrels. I'm only seeing one here. Oh, here they are. Reinforced barrels. That's what they were. Let's take a quick nap though. I'm a little bit safer so I can close the door and feel better about it. <laughs> feel better about my decision. Okay. We got placed on a campfire to cook some food. I always forget you can cook food on a campfire. I literally always forget that. Now, this is where I wanted to put the little, like, railing. And then, watch this. This will be our little living room area. Yeah. A little couch. And let's just remove this one. See? Just a little couch spot. Very nice and quaint. And then we can have, like, a chair. Like, a double chair here. Mmm, I don't really like that. We'll leave that there for now. But I really like having this here. This is kind of like a nice little spot for that. But then we can have like a nightstand here. And then we can have some barrels on some like shelves. But we'll fix downstairs up first. So we've got all of those little barrels. Oh, I did want to make a, a crafting table. That was the Sukari one, or Sukara. Wow, I'm just making up, I'm just saying words. <laughs> and then I want to get another smoker. I think that'll be nice, because then it's at least looking even, right? 
So let's grab some more cobble. And I, do we have any more stripped wood? We'll just strip some more here. And then we're going to make a furnace. Put those around it. Grab that. Then we can start getting that all filled out. And then... want to have this be here. I think I need to, I'm trying to figure out a way, oh, excuse me, just burning my little feetsies, it's fine. I want to have a way so that that still cooks and you don't see it, because then we can have our little shelves here, right, and it looks nice. Because now, when I do this, oops, well, we are just all sorts of the wrong directions being placed. No. Okay, and then our last one we'll place right here, and we'll place one right there. But then we have a long kind of like cooking, working area. We can put some more barrels up at the top here. And we wouldn't need one here if that's the case, so we can just go like so. And then kind of just place that in there. And then we've got a bunch of different barrels ready to be used. And then if I move this one and replace that here, then we can have some more on this side. And if I make this even, there, it matches up with the window, which is even better. Now let's put these signs here. Kind of like it's the kind of edge. I might use trap doors. We'll see what I feel like doing. Let's quickly get some of these up here. And on this side. I'm just putting them on this top third one. That's literally all I want to do around this side. Now I've got these all picked up, and there we go. I think that just adds a little bit extra, you know, to the front. I really like that, just adding a little bit more texture to it all. And I really only think I like it on the places that I have it, so I think we're just gonna leave it, and I like that. Next, I mean, honestly, we have a whole enchanting table so maybe our upstairs will become our enchanting area yeah maybe we retrofit that for also an enchanting setup i feel like that is honestly the play so let's do that So we've got that. Books. 
Yeah, that'll be nice. That will be great. Ouch. Alrighty. Now, let's do this same thing here. Ouch. And then get rid of that. Put that there. Perfect. And we'll swap the direction of this. Just like so. I like it. Now, let's grab some more. And I think I am going to try their trapdoors and just see what I think of them. So here's what they look like. I think they're pretty cool. They kind of remind me of like a rattan, but like the gold little spot on them makes it look really pretty. But I like how it has the gold handle matching our door as well. But I think we're going to swap these out. Yeah, that definitely looks cooler. Yeah, look at that. All the smoke and everything. We can just kind of uh, distribute this back between the four of them. So we can do that one, that one, that one, and that one. And we'll add some extra fuel in there. Now, we have extra chests. But I don't want the floors to get in the way, so maybe we go like that. And then we can kind of just like put some, maybe we put some trapdoors under. Like that. I think that looks pretty nice. And now... I kind of like the idea of having this like kind of like a little roped off section and then obviously we can put some like flower pots here in front of our windows that will look really pretty and then we can put some chests here because i think this will open up yep so we can just put some like chests right there and we'll use some trapdoors there so let's grab some more. And then add those right there. I actually am really glad that I was able to find some of that wool. Or the rope. I think the rope was super fun to find. <gasps> Whoa, I forgot that's a thing. All the trapdoors open if they're connected. Oh my gosh, quality of life. Yes, please. I love that so much easier okay liking that now we do have a bunch of these flowers and there's something that we can create called a flower pot now i need to figure out how to make these so uh, let's look dark oak spruce oh interesting these are more simple than i thought they would be and you get three you get three wow that's so great okay so so slabs Flanks, dirt. We already have a bunch of those. I don't have dirt on hand though. So we do flanks like so. Um, I think it was like this. Oh, I'm already forgetting it. What was it? I'm missing. Oh, I need the spruce ones. Wait, but I have it all. Okay, maybe I have to do it this route? Okay, this was the way. This is the way. Okay, well, let's take a nap. I was so confused. I think because I already had them on the crafting table, it was telling me that I like didn't have them, which is kind of interesting, but you know, what do you, uh, what do, you do about it? But we've got these flower pots, which I think are super cute. 
and I want them to be like right under the window. Right here. Look at them, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. So we'll put two right there and then I think if we get more of this. I think we have enough to make more of the spruce ones. Okay, so now when I look at all these flowers that I have, this is where it gets fun and colorful and just makes me really happy. So we're gonna put some of these together. Are we ready? Toot. Pop. <gasps> yeah. Look at that, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I love the, what are these ones? The azures, they're so pretty. And then look at that little front door. Oh, it's so cute. I love it so much. Literally my favorite. I'm just going to make unlimited flower boxes. This is my life now, just flower box girl. Just, they're so pretty. Happy little flower box girly. Okay, so that's what it was. Okay, so two rows. Mm -mm. I love this so much. Fourteen. Oh my gosh, seventeen. <laughs> you know, we do like us some flower boxes. And because we have them, like, over our windows, it's gonna be even cuter. Because then we can see, like, flowers out the window. How adorable is that, right? Love it so much. And we need to go collect more flowers because we definitely don't have enough for this. But this is literally like the coolest thing. I love this so much. What's interesting is like I can't like pull the flowers out of the box once I put them in. That's like one thing that's like, well, okay. But look at that. And then when we're inside, we just get to see flowers. <gasps> look at that, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Literally just, I'm about it. All these flower boxes are so cute. And then I do also want to have kind of like a little like sitting area here. But I think I'm gonna like terraform the land more, but we'll do that later on because we literally just need to get our living room and our like life in, uh, in more order. Because this isn't much of an order, right? This is just kind of like the beginnings, but nothing too crazy. We'll put some of these guys out here too. Yay. And then we can just put some flowers. So then, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love the flower boxes. They're amazing and so, so cute. Can't get over them. Just the cutest little things in the world. Love it. I really like the alliums too. I think they're really pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, we've got flower boxes on the outside. Now we've got some leaves and we've got a cauldron. We've got some stuff for enchanting. So we definitely gotta add those in here. So let's quickly go put our like potion brewing area somewhere. I feel like we should have them in the kitchen, you know? So that can be in the kitchen. Um, let's add in... Where do we want to put our anvil and things? I feel like that's still kind of like workbench-ish. And then a cauldron can be a sink. So let's put our sink right in here. And then we just need some water for that. But then upstairs by the enchanting table, we can put some of the lapis in the books for now. And then we're gonna go and start adding some leaves to the outside. But I really do like how there's like the, we've got our little, uh, our little cauldron here. I do wanna add another campfire. 
but I want to make sure that like you don't see the stone or anything. I want you to just see the, the pretty, you know, planks. So I need to be careful and sneaky about how I position all of this. So we've got that, we've got, we don't have enough sticks, so let's make some more sticks. We need coal as well, so we'll grab some coal from here. I should put the torch back. And then campfire, we'll just go like that. We just need the one. And does this come through? Huh, I guess it doesn't come through at all. I did not know that was the case. Well, I guess uh, we don't need that. So then we can just place that back and place this back. I think we'll just leave the cauldron though. The cauldron can stay, but I don't need to, oops. I don't need to have the, the campfire underneath there. Okay, so now, I wonder, item frames, item frames is just leather, so we have enough item frames for things, but what I want to have is paintings, and I think we need to go and get some wool. Yeah, we need wool or canvas, which is from Farmer's Delight. So if we try to find some wool, let's try to see if we can find some little sheepies, shall we? Oh, speaking of, there's literally some right over there. Let's go get some picture frames. I thought I had some, uh, some wheat on me, because then we could definitely just, like, start bringing them closer to our area, which would be great. Hi, buddy. Thank you for the wool. Ooh, you gave me three pictures. Thank you. So generous. Four. You're not as generous, but... Ooh, okay. Yep. Running away from you guys. You guys better look out. There's people coming. I would run away if I were you. Run away and hide. I'm gonna go hide and make some pictures. I love how this house looks. It's so pretty. Definitely fits the fantasy vibe. No, stop following me. You can't see me in my house. Leave me alone. I'm sorry. What is vibrating? A trident? How is a trident vibrating? I don't like the sound of this. They're in my house. Why are they clanking like a tr- Why are they clanking? What? Can they throw those? Oh. <gasps> They can throw their axes? Well, that's absolutely terrifying. Nope, no thank you. Ooh. Why? All I want to do is make my place cute. Can't you despawn? Ay, <laughs> uh, yeah, ay, yeah. ay. I just wanted to make cute things, and I guess these pillagers can throw tomahawks. Excuse you. That is not cute. I'm not a fan of that at all. <laughs> They'll just go away, right? They actually followed me way longer than I thought they would. Like, maybe they'll forget about me? 
50 feet. Do we think they will? Oh my gosh, that's so chaotic. He is just waiting. He gave up. Can they all give up? I'm ready for them to all give up. That would be wonderful. Okay, we got some paintings. Let's see what our pictures are. Oh, geez. Oh, gosh. I have options. Wow. Ooh, mountain scene. It's weird to have, like, options like this. There's a monster nearby. Can it, like, leave, please? Can it, like, leave? Can it leave so I can sleep? Where are you? Hello? Bruh, get out of my kitchen. Bruh, out of my kitchen, please. Where's your friend? Go follow your friend. Your friend is literally leaving without you. Your friend despawned. They left you. Can you just leave me too? <laughs> leave me be. <laughs> I want to seep. <laughs> Can I sleep? Yeah. Well, this is good to know that they can literally, like, yeet their, uh, axes at me. Well, that's scary. Okay, so, uh, this one's cool. There's some really large ones, but I kind of like these ones for the sidewalls here. I like that I can choose the dimensions, and instead of it being just, like, they automatically pick the size for me, I get to kind of choose that. I'm a big fan of that. That's really nice. Um, we can have a giant one on this wall, which is kind of fun. So let's see about this wall. How big is this one? Okay. And then if we do here, kind of like a picture gallery wall. Kind of cute. Can you just like leave, please? Where did you go? Hello? See, now you don't care. Now you're leaving. Uh, I tell you, you know, I feel like my long plays are just longer than long because chaos ensues. Quite quick. But you know, it's also kind of fun. You know I'm here for it. You're just vibing with me, right? We're just hanging out. Now let's put some leaves on the roof. Now that I'm not going to get tomahawks yeeted at me. I can't believe they can throw them. I was so confused why I was hearing the trident sound. But then, like, that literally makes so much sense why I could hear it. You know? Makes all the sense in the world. Oh, look, didn't finish that. Nice. Okay. And now we just sprinkle in some leaves, making it look all lush and cute and cozy in here. There we go. All the way up. Like so. Are you just gonna stare at me? That axe is scary. The fact that you can throw that at me, I'm a little bit nervous to get closer. Not gonna lie, I did not expect them to have that, you know, range of motion. And, a, frankly, range of attack. That's, like, mainly my surprise. Okay. I 
I like having the leaves be like in the middle crease of this. I think it makes it look really good. And then with the rest of it, we're gonna kind of like taper some of it, but I just wanna make sure I have enough. So that's where I'm kind of like spacing these out decently, just to make sure we have enough to get it to look how I want it to. Yeah, that's looking good so far. Where did our little friend go? Did he leave? Did he respawn? Is he under the roof waiting for me? I think he left. I think he despawned. I think we're safe. <laughs> uh, goodness, that was interesting. They followed me. I didn't think, I, I mean, I know that pillagers will follow you, but I didn't expect them to follow me that far. But you know, they're, they're not around anymore, so I'm happy about it. Okay, we've made it down with our little vine leaf. There we go. Okay. And with this, I'm also going to put this here as kind of like to match the roof. So we're also putting this. Okay, there we go. All right, the first little bit is done. Now we're gonna go to the back side and finish that. Also, the fact that I just have this giant dirt pillaring thing is just so, so ugly. But you know, it works. The dirt pillar blocks definitely work. They serve their purpose very well. Okay, and now we work on this. And let's put one right here. One right there. I'm trying to like spread this out so that it looks really good. So we're just kind of adding them in here together, but they can be some more spaced out. I can hear a spider hissing if we look at my little subtitles there. I'm always curious where these little dudes are coming from. Like, where are you gonna attack me from? Because <laughs> I, I don't want to be attacked by a spider right now because I'd probably fall if it like climbed its way up here. Not what I'm really hoping for. I think my favorite part of like completing a roof build is actually doing this leaf bit here because the leaves just add so much in my opinion. I love it so much. It's so fun. Leaves just add so much to a build. So if you're ever trying to figure out what to do to change up your build to make it look a little bit better, look, make it look more vibrant, add some leaves. Like I will always add leaves if I'm like, mm, the roof doesn't look the best. Highly recommend adding some leaves. I think because I just like completely covered all of this pit over, I'm just hearing everything from the pit below. Guaranteed, that's like, what's up? Not what I want, but you know, uh, we'll, we'll light it up later. That's a future red problem, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so if we look at this, yeah, I think that looks nice. We'll just um, add one down here. And it's getting dark, so I do need to go sleep so I don't get bad guys coming for me. Oh yeah, they're definitely below me. If you uh if you look on this map, <laughs> the spider is like right over here, technically. Are you above ground though? No, you're not above ground, okay. Well, good to know then. Okay, well, our house is coming along. I'm so excited to have glass in here because then we're just going to be able to look out and see our pretty little flowers. I love that. We do need to do some more work in this entryway here and making this more of a full-on space. Oh yeah, I kind of uh, blocked this off so that the dude couldn't come and get me, which I'm glad I did. Okay. So we still got some more decorating stuff to do, but I think it's looking good so far. So let's see. 
Now, as far as like what else I would add in here, we're gonna add some leaves to the interior, but I first wanna finish getting all of the leaves on the outside done. But I also think what would be cool is if we get some more clay and then we have some shelves with like potted plants. We could even get some bookshelves and things like that. And I think that would also look really pretty. And uh, yeah, some bookshelves, just some planter boxes, some pots on shelves. I think that'll look really nice, but literally I think adding the greens in here is gonna look the best. I'm also curious if I can shear these uh, these cute little things. Can I shear it? <gasps> yes, what are they called? Okay, this is my theory guys, okay? What if we can make this into a carpet for upstairs, like a fluffy carpet? I think that could be super cool and then depending on like which biomes we travel through we could find more of these to be more fluffy carpets <gasps> okay there's a creeper i'm gonna run okay yep and that's my cue to move but i'm just i'm just curious okay hear me out this could look really weird but it could be kind of fun you know have a fluffy carpet this might be a better thing for upstairs Maybe we try this in the bedroom. Let's try this upstairs. But the idea of like a fluffy carpet, I think sounds so cozy. Just because like you can use coral to be a fluffy carpet, but I think that making a fluffy carpet around our bed would be the fun part. It looks kind of funny that it's like a little bit of a mound, which I get, it's a little pile of leaves, so it should look like a mound. I'm not sold on this necessarily, but it is, it's cute, like, it could be something. I'm not completely, like, for it or against it, I would say. But what I do want to do is make this be a crafting table. And for symmetry's sake, we'll do this twice. I would say I am more of a, like, symmetrical builder when it comes to Minecraft things. Like, obviously not everything's gonna be that way, but I prefer it to be a little bit more symmetrical. Well, I think I liked the idea, the concept of this, but I think I'm just gonna try to use some regular carpets. So we'll try to go find some sheep or something and use that. But it is cool, like, it could be really fun. Um, could be a decent option. Alright, where's that creeper? Don't want them blowing up my stuff. Are they still around? Luckily we can check our map. I don't see one on the map anymore. So I think they despawned. So I'm, I'm happy about that. So the other thing I wanna do is in the front, we're going to also terraform this out because I wanna have like a nicer path, which means we also need to get rid of all of this bamboo here and kind of replace it somewhere else. But we do need to finish first getting all of our greenery on. And I think this is looking really pretty so far on the back side. Now I have to figure out where on this front side I want to place this. And I feel like since it's this one big flat side, I usually will try to like split it. So maybe we'll have some coming this way and we'll have some going that way. So we'll kind of split it half and half is my idea. So let's just get all of our leaves in our off hand and our main hand. And I do still have my pillar of dirt, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay. I just jumped off instead of <laughs> actually using the pillaring blocks. Oops. Okay. And yeep. All right. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to like jump to this one. My parkour skills are not up to par. <laughs> get it parkour skills not up to par yeah okay you can just ignore my puns Ugh. i think they're fun i like puns so let's let's just be okay so i usually like to start at the top which is why i'm trying to jump up here first i could start at the bottom but i prefer to be at the top if i'm starting a bunch of leaf placing okay so let's just go up here and I do like to connect these two. So that's also the part of me wanting to be at the top. Because then if I'm at the top, I can kind of see where I would move these and place these to make it look really good. Okay, so 
direction wise i think right where i am is good we just need to continue pulling this down this other one will come off of this pink one and we'll go this way more so so i like where this is going i just need to continue it and then and then i always like to check as i go to see what i think about it again <gasps> can you reach me dude literally where are you guys coming from like where <laughs> guys look at that they're almost hitting me why can't i just get my dang house done why do you have to come in here and try to hurt me oh that axe is tweaking Literally, they are going to hurt me. I'm not... I'm I'm just staying up here. <laughs> Alright, I guess we work on this side. <laughs> oh wait, did they forget about me already? Literally? <laughs> this is one of my longer long plays. Because I want to finish my house. And these dudes just come on by and try to attack me. Like, what is this, guys? Just let me build my house. These dudes are so rude. They come through, throw their axes at me, and then walk away like I don't exist. Now I have you stuck in my world. <sighs> At least they don't see me anymore. I'm... Actually, I should kind of duck this way if I really don't want them to see me. <laughs> ay ay ay. Just chaos. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just imagine that little, like, meme of the little dog that's, like, sitting in the flames being like, this is fine. That's how I feel as they're, like, trying to, like, tomahawk, throw their axes at me while I'm just trying to make my roof look pretty. This is fine. I'm just getting attacked. Ay, ay, ay. But, you know, I'm glad that I learned uh, from a distance that they actually will uh, throw those tomahawks at me. Because I would have just assumed, like, they would just have the crossbows, you know? And I would have not known that they were gonna f straight up just attack me like that. And I would have... I would have gotten hurt, and, uh, and it wouldn't have been fun. Would not have been fun. Alright. So let's do this one here. And check this. Are they leaving? I think... Yeah, they're leaving. On my map, do I see them? These rude little people aren't even showing up on my map. <sighs> That's scary. Why aren't you showing up on my map? I rely on my map. Did I turn something off that, like, runs mobs from being seen on it? Like, I guess pillager villager mobs? Oh no, they're there. Now they're there. See that? Now they appeared. Oh, oh, they were over here. There's another one. Oh, gosh. These are the ones. Okay, so there's another one over here, so I need to be careful. Where is it? Where are you stuck? Because I guarantee this is the dude that's actually gonna grab me. Like, they're gonna be the one that, like, hits me. Did you despawn yet? I think they despawned. It looks like they all despawned. <laughs> ay ay ay. I'm just getting so distracted by this because I just don't want to get hit. Their axes despawned, which is also good. Not what I had in mind, though. Like, uh, what do you do, though, you know? Not exactly what I had in mind, but it's where we're at. Okay, and let's move this one in there. And we'll start going more down. I think I don't want this one to be here. Let's move this a little bit more down. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, this one needs to have one here, and we'll put one there, and we'll do a little offshoot guy here. 
Okay. Yeah, I think this is looking good when I'm like splitting it this way. This one is a little bit too far over, so we're gonna move this one. Okay. And honestly, I think I wanna leave it like that. So we're gonna leave this one like it is, and then we're gonna start working on this other one. We might pull the other one down further, but for now, we'll just leave it as is. And I'm gonna go sweep before anyone else comes to get me. I still can't believe there was the uh, the pillagers stopping by again. This area might be more dangerous than I thought it would be. Also, I'm, I'm gonna start getting rid of this. It's, it's just, it just looks bad. <laughs> Since we have some time to kill, right? We might as well just work on getting this down. Okay, I also really need to get glass, just so I don't keep having all of these bad guys come for me. I'm also going to cover this up. Actually, let's pull this down a bit. There we go. And while we wait for it to get night, let's uh, move these guys. I don't have a sword, otherwise I would be using a sword to get these down. An axe works just fine as well. <gasps> Wait, there's bamboo leaves. I forgot this was a thing. Look at this. I think I can place these. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, that was the one. Okay, okay, you little stinker bug. I just wanted to sleep. He finally caught up to me. That's not fair. You little turd. You little goober. All right, now that I'm like away... Okay, can I sleep now? Okay. I was literally waiting for him to catch up with me. <laughs> I hate when they jump scare me like that. But look at this, we can even place the bamboo leaves in here, which is kind of fun. And then if I shear them, we get them back. But I think they're really cute. I like the shape of them. They're very fun. But we can just like kind of have some leaves hanging down, you know? I think it's cool. But um, let's just pick these up. Now... I need to make... Oh, he's right there. He's right there. I like how I'm whispering. Actually, he's a crossbow guy, right? He's not as bad. We could take him out. Crossbow guys aren't as bad. Hmm. You think we can do it? I think we could. As long as the other guys don't come back around, like, seeking vengeance for their friend, you know? I say we go for it. Ooh, you actually dropped quite a bit of things. Okay, and then we run away. <laughs> we run away to go look inside our house at what we just acquired. Alright, we got a platinum chunk. We got an experience nugget, we got some arrows, and then we got an emerald. Interesting. What's a illager invasion? That's a thing? Ill... Oh, ah. Illager. Illager invasion. Right? I spelled it right? Interesting. Lingering potion of Bursa King. Wow, strength and speed like no other. What's platinum though? Let's look at platinum. Plat. In. Oh, wait, we can make one of their hatchets. Wait, this could be cool. Okay, let me see a crafting table. Now I'm curious. How do I make these? <gasps> Ooh, very fun. Okay. Oh gosh, that's expensive. A smithing template. Ooh, very fun. Platinum hatchet. That's, it's really cool. So I'm assuming that if we have these sheets, we could probably make a hatchet. We're just learning all sorts of things. Oh, I can't spell. Hat. Shit. Oh, I guess that's the only option for us. 
Oh, there's hat stands. Very fun. Well, that's kind of cool. I guess that's an option for us. Didn't realize that would be a thing, but that's cool. Like, I'll, I'll take it. That's fun. Okay, so now what I want to do is grab some more spruce and we've got some here and let's make some trap doors and then we're gonna make some pots and then I want to start making those shelves that I was talking about and I think I can put these flowers in them I think this will work let's test this though <gasps> Yay! Okay, it's gonna work just wonderfully. I literally love how the flowers look in Better Minecraft. I think it's so pretty. So I'm very excited for this. So let's just do... I think I want to have some sort of like a couch space in here. I think that would be nice to just have a little bit of a couch area. Nothing too crazy. We can also just like make this look better later on. But just a little corner spot. I think we need a carpet in here for sure. But I also want to have some little shelves. We can have some floating plants on them. Put some right there. Put one in there. Let's place one right here. See, even just adding shelves just adds so much to an area, which makes it really fun to just see a little bit of a transformation making such a big difference. And then I need more trapdoors, so let's make more. I wish these weren't so expensive. Trapdoors are so expensive, but I love using them so much. And then let's do a shelf here. We can put a plant there. We'll do... <gasps> A wandering trader? I only have one emerald to trade with you, so I don't know how much you actually want to trade with me, actually. But, you know, we can we can do some trades. That's fine by me. I thought it was going to be another uh, pillager, and I was about to be concerned. <laughs> Hi, bud. Hello. Oh, you straight up came in. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. Wait, a thresher shark plushie? Hello? <sighs> This is so funny. Oh, cactus would be nice. I don't have enough for cactus. No way, your name is Zelda? I'm just playing your Breath of the Wild game. And I just finished your Tears of the Kingdom game. <laughs> That's literally so funny. Your name is Zelda. I'm taking a screenshot. Well, Zelda, it is lovely to meet you. And um, where's your other friend? Oh yeah, you just hopped through my window, didn't you? Nice. Love that. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Oh, I had spruce in my inventory. Sometimes you're like not looking in your inventory, even though you're looking in your inventory for things, you know? I don't know if that actually makes sense or not. Okay, now where was that little build? That one. I want to go and grab some of the, uh, the books from there, but now that those guys are not here anymore, let's finish our little, uh, leaf greenery. I feel like I've gotten interrupted so many times trying to finish this. Just because I keep getting attacked. <laughs> Just straight up attacked by guys. Not okay. Okay. And then... Carry this down. And then we'll go out more, like so. And then pull this back in. And then let's go like so. And let's look at this, how it's looking so far. I think I want to fix some of this, but we're going to finish this out because this is looking really good. I really like this so far. And I think I want one of these to like fully drape down. So we're going to choose this one to do so. And then this one. Here we go. 
and it looks like we never actually like filled this in how I planned to so let's do that now the uh, we can use some of these there we go and then we just need a little bit more okay and we'll grab this okay we've got our asakura we'll make some more trap or some more slabs I feel like I'm now gonna have that guy living in my house because he's not gonna know how to get out <laughs> that is my my theory <laughs> yeah now he's in my kitchen yep just what I suspected just staying in my place now yep welcome yep <laughs> he's like uh-huh I'm staying <laughs> I'm your new roommate <laughs> For the entirety of this world, surprise! I mean, if honestly, if they keep bringing me cool things, like I'm not opposed to it. I'd prefer if they asked me. It's kind of rude to just assume things, you know. But if they ask, that's okay with me. All right, and then this is the middle, so this one goes up the full block. like so and we go like so like so and then every other i will need to get more of these yeah is that so i really wish i could understand what the wandering traders were saying because they always are just like murmuring and talking but it'd be kind of interesting to like genuinely know what they like say when they mumble you know all right, so we've got this going. Now we just need to get, so that's in place. That's in place. I feel like I'm actually supposed to have this moved over more. All right, we're moving this over a little bit. I wonder, do I like that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, we're swapping them around a little bit. Okay, yeah, I like that more. And then we do need to add in our different lanterns, but I don't really have a lot of, like, resources for that. So, we're just gonna wait on that one for a little bit. Okay, and now, look at that. We've got the vines on our house. I think it looks really nice. But let's, uh, let's sleep quickly. So that our friend doesn't need to stay invisible, especially. There we go. All right, now, I think what I want to do is terraform our entryway. So we're just going to take our dirt and just kind of flatten it out a bit more just so that there's more of a walkway. I feel like our path up is pretty just like straight. Like there's literally one block before we have to jump down. So I do want to clean this up and I can take the leaves out of my inventory and we'll move this. I may end up moving this little like pond here as well just because it's not exactly where I would want to have a pond but we'll just leave it for now you know maybe I'll change my mind about it I love how these different materials mix it's so nice that's one of the things I think I am enjoying about mod is just seeing those things change Cover over all the podzol because we don't like podzol here. <laughs> we are not podzol people. We can say it like that. We're against podzol. I would really, honestly, though, be curious to see. Why did you place there? Oh, there was a twig. Interesting. I would be very curious, though, to see like how someone can make podzol like look really nice. Because I feel like I just can't think of anything that would make podzol look good, right? Okay, let's see if we have any dirt. 64, hopefully that's enough. I just want more of like a, a gradual step up to our area, not just one block. That is the one thing I was trying to prevent. So hopefully this will be good. We come out here, pull this lane of dirt out. 
So we've got 14. So I feel like if I start adding some over here... <laughs> They're just everywhere, my goodness. Okay, now let's grab some dirt from up here. I'll probably end up taking down some of these stone areas, just... Oh, there goes my shovel. Lovely. Okay, but 15 should be enough. Like, I feel like that's a good amount. So then, uh, let's just pull this out a bit more. I'm gonna, like, kind of pull this out a little bit, just so it doesn't look like it's just, like, a straight, straight line. Kind of like that. Even just adding that, I feel like, makes it look a lot better. But now there's, like, a gradual step up, right? So now what we can do is we can have kind of, like, some slabs. Oops. <laughs> we can put slabs down. Oh my gosh. And this will kind of just uh, be kind of our way to get up. And then if we make another shovel, which I'm literally just going to make this out of stone because that's the best I got right now. But then what we can do is we can kind of just like carve out the path and it will just lead us on our staircase only. I like how he's, he's just echoing in my house. <laughs> kind of funny to me. Okay, now let's do more of these. And then uh, let's add some more here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it's just so hard for me to like get used to how you can place the slabs at different angles. Like I'm not used to it. So I'm just going to end up placing them sideways so many times guaranteed just because of that. Because I'm not used to it. It's, it's a different like mechanic for slabs that's just new to me. But it's super, super nice, honestly. And let's grab some more doit from over here. I'm just like skimming the top of places, just trying to get a little bit more dirt. It's funny how sometimes when you need to like build things, you end up collecting dirt, like you resource collect for dirt. You don't often think you're going to resource collect for dirt, but you know, making something look pretty, sometimes it's it's what you do. And there I go again with the, the wrong slab placement. Lovely. I need to like focus way more. Ooh, yes, I like these stairs though. Okay, we've got 12, so this should be enough. So then we just bring these in here. Let me see you guys there. Put one here, one here, and then one here. So now, from further away, it's just got more of like a little step up, and I like it. And this, this isn't really going anywhere right now, but once we start getting more builds in here, this will actually like lead somewhere. So this will have a purpose in being placed here. It's so weird how it echoes in my house. I thought they like fell down underneath me somehow. I was about to be very confused. Okay. Nice. So then if we just throw some little bits in here. Okay, look at that. It's looking good so far. Ah, okay. Now we've got that taken care of. And then let's start working on getting some leaves on the inside. We don't have a lot of leaves left, but I think it will look really nice. So I'm going to just move some of these things out of my way for that. And we can plant some of these around our area too in the sunflowers. And then we'll always have like the two tall flowers around. But we can make another pot, which is nice to add those in. We'll just uh, reorder what we have in our inventory right now. We've got the pots, we've got flowers. Okay. So let's see here. Let's just start placing some of these in. What's nice is you can still open chests even when there's leaves, which I really, really like. Huh? 
We're just adding like a few in here. Nothing like too much, but just a little bit. So I think just adding some leaves makes it look really pretty and really nice in here. Makes it more like cozy and homey, I would say as well. So then we can go like so. Kind of just like snake these across the, uh, the walls. And we'll need to probably get more because we're running out. We're running low on our pretty little azalea leaves. But for now, we're doing all right. We're just at the end. Okay, there we are. See, even that just looks a lot better. I really like that. It's just pretty. Okay, now... We're going to add some more shelves over here. I think I want like a full shelf across there. I think that will look really nice. And then on either side, we can do these guys like that. And then we can do some shelving over here and some shelving on that side. And I do want to get like a carpet in here, but we don't really have the resources for that yet. Can you like leave? I appreciate you stopping by Zelda. But like, can you not just go right through there? Yeah. There you go. You did it. You got out. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I think because I put the, the leaves over, they you couldn't get back out. Alright, Zelda. I need to go and do some collecting of some nice, uh, you know, glass. We need some sand. Things like that. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to head out, okay? I really like these flowers too. They're just, they're so pretty. And honestly, like it's almost nighttime. So we do have to keep that in mind, but we can collect some more flowers along the way. And that already just makes it look so much better. Just adding flowers, like, ah, I love it. Flowers just adds a lovely little touch. And that's where the sun's going to face up. So I don't always like having the, the sunflowers around just because they don't always like line up how I want them to because I want them to just like face the direction I place them that's how I wish the mechanic would work but that isn't always the case so can't always get what you want with that um I think I can place rice in water I'm curious if it works yeah I think it just needs to be dirt but we can start like a farming area in here soon which will be really fun I'm excited for that I think that'll be a really cool experience to just have some nice little little areas for farming, some animals, all of that. It'll be great. But first things first, we need I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to like put in place here. But let me just no, you can't come in, I'm sorry. Not allowed. Okay, we're gonna sleep and then we're gonna go looking for glass and we're gonna go looking for more. Uh, clay for a few more pots because I think I want to add more flowers around and then we're gonna go grab those bookshelves as well so we can add to this but let's uh let's put these bookshelves about here because we do need to expand this as we get more bookshelves so I think if we have these be right here this will be a good good distance oh and we gotta watch out for skelly boys as we go but we should be okay We should be fine. Okay. New day. Let's go exploring. I've got my shovel. We've got shears. We've got food. I think we're going to be good. So we're looking for sand. We're looking for those bookshelves. And we're looking for some of our clay for clay pots. Ooh, lily pads. That would be nice. Now I know there's like a ravine down here and that's where I'm thinking. Oh, it's an egg. Thank you, chicken. I'm also going to get distracted picking up iron as we go since I'm very limited on iron, but I think this will look really pretty. And 
Ooh, carrots. Wait, I can shear them so they stay in their pretty form. I didn't think about that, but I really like that. Wild carrot. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Well, I kind of want to, I mean, keep them because that could look cool for like farming land, right? But let's check what's in this house again. I think literally there was just a few bookshelves and that was like it. But we'll take some dandelions. I'm literally just going to start like taking a bunch of flowers and getting distracted just because... I really, really want to have some more little potted plants, little potted flowers. I think that's like my favorite feature. All right, this is the most chaotic way that I've ever tried getting bookshelves. This house is literally just falling apart. Okay, I think I grabbed them all. I don't think any of them fell in. I think we got them. We have 21 books, that's amazing. I'm so happy about that. Okay. Next, we go down into this little ravine thing. We make our way with our shovel. And let's see here. Now, as far as like where, I need to figure out where, okay, there is some sand there. We also wanna find clay, right? Like we're looking for more than just the sand, even though the sand is at this point what I need more of. Oh, Oh gosh, oh, oh, oh my. This is a little dangerous. Oh, there's a diorite though, that's nice. Okay, we're just gonna make our own staircase all the way down, make it super safe. <laughs> okay, and then we can go this way. This almost looks like I could just jump. Actually, I think I want to. Pumpkins, that's nice. Okay, well, I think jumping's gonna be the easiest way to just get down there faster, and then we'll just have to deal with figuring our way back up. But, uh, we're jumping towards the sand. Oh, and there is some of that. Look at that. That's amazing. So we'll grab all of the clay, all of the goodies. This actually worked pretty well. I don't need, like, a ton more clay, but this should be enough. And then we need to grab some air. Make sure we get that up. I could use that water breathing portion when I'm doing this, but I feel like I want to save that for like adventures and other things that we come across, you know? So I'm, I just think I'm going to save that water breathing potion. I'm sure we'll come across some like ruins and different things we're all like actually want to have some water breathing potions for. Not just for like casually doing some some collecting of resources right and we'll just grab these hopefully this will be enough glass i'm glad that like one at least it'll like make me a decent amount and go up there we go i really like how this whole area has calcite in it i i love that so much just because that's what I want to, like, be building out of, you know? Okay. Now we can come back down. And I want to have the sand in my main inventory, just so I can see how much I've collected so far. And then we go up. We can collect this while we're here. I'm glad there's no, like, bad things in the water here. Cause that would just add a whole new layer like i'm sure there are i'm sure because there was like uh that wandering trader gave us a tiger shark or uh some type of shark plushie which means that if it if you can make it into a plushie you definitely can make it into a, a real life mob that can get you so i'm glad i don't have to worry about that right now also it's really nice to know there's like some fish in here like the bass that's also very helpful to information to know. All right. And I think we're good on the clay. Sand, we'll probably need more, but I'm planning to make a bunch of just the, uh, oops, there we go. I'm gonna make some glass panes, which does help us get further with, um, having like a limited amount of sand so i think i want to try to get back home now because we have a full stack 
Oh, that was the duck I was hearing. I was like, I'm hearing a duck, but where is it? But I have two of these iron bits. I think I want to get one more or two more, whatever's here. Just one more, that's fine. Okay, now to make our way back up and finish out our decorations. Now, I think we have some like sheep around here, so I'm kind of curious if I can like get to where the sheep are. And then I'm, I'm gonna pillar up. Okay, because if I can get to where the sheep are, we could make some carpets, which could be nice. So now we go up our little staircase here. We definitely need to make an easier way to get around here because this is not necessarily an easy route down and around and all of that. But for now it works. We just have to make do with what we have. And yes, I picked the flowers. Oh, did that just fall? No, it did, I guess. I guess we don't pick the flowers. Okay. Now, I know there are some azalea bushes around here, so we're just going to quickly run over here as well. Because I do want to have more leaves on the inside, and I want to take some of these ones because I want particles in my house. So we're just going to take a little bit of these, and mostly taking the azalea leaves. It's kind of funny to me how there's like mini azalea bushes, just like small little groupings, you know? Oh, high wind. Okay. Now, here's another one. Oh, and there's vines. Vines will look pretty. Let's grab some vines. Now that I actually have, like, space for them. Before, I didn't really have space. My inventory was so full. I did not have the space to grab them. This is just oak, right? Yeah. The azaleas always just have oak. Now, I would like to find a actual azalea tree so that we can grab the, the pink leaves from the azaleas as well. So let's just hop up here and see if there's any that we can like see right off the bat. But I'm not really um, noticing any. So this area might just not have like a lush cave near it. I'm happy there's at least these little groupings though. And yes, I'm kind of just leaving the stumps. <laughs> I do realize I am doing that. Oh, it's a moo bloom. I love that there's some moo blooms. We're definitely going to have to bring some moo blooms to our area. And I'll also have to kind of like fence in our area so that we can have them just kind of hanging around our place more. Just so that we get to keep them and they don't like wander off, you know? Okay. Now that it's getting dark, ooh, I almost just fell down that. Let's go around that. Let's let's not be reckless and careless. I wouldn't have fallen very far, but I just I just don't want to take more fall damage. You know, not what I have in mind. Okay. Now I think. Oh, he was snorting. I thought he was gonna try to come for me. Oh, there's a little lizard guy. Hello, lizard. Hello, little dude. Hello, I know you're afraid of me, I'm sorry. I don't mean to scare you. You're just cute. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna smelt this up. Hi Cardinals, hello. I need to get some seeds to see if I can tame them. That would be fun. All right, all of these, oh my gosh, you got in again, you goon. <laughs> you're not supposed to be here. Silly. Okay. And then this is a smoker. We don't have a blast furnace. Oh, that's definitely how you got in. But now we have a bunch of wood, so let's make our bookshelves. Like so. Ooh, we got six from that, that's nice. We can put one there and one there. And I'm not really like needing an enchanting setup quite yet. So I'm kind of thinking we put some of these on the shelves. Me being more into the decorations than 
Oh, wait, they place differently. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wait, I wonder if I use the carpenter's table. Can I, like, change these? Going into the night for the sake of it. Oh, I can change it. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, we're, we're definitely doing this. Full bookshelf. Yes, yes. I like that. That's so fun. I forgot that you can do that with the chipped mod. I love that so much. I forgot about that. That's so cool. All right, and now we can add more of the leaves inside here as well. But we're first gonna give these cute bookshelves placements. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. And I think I can just like take these. Yeah, and it's not gonna like interfere with anything. So now let's put that one there. That's actually really cool that you can do that. I wanna do that with this. Let's just use these last few. Okay, let's make them look cool. I wish that I wouldn't lose the uh, the wood when I do that, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, and then I need more wood, so let's just grab these. Can I just leave my door open so you can leave when you wanna leave? If you wanna leave, that would be great. I do have so many more uh, <laughs> little like flowers now for my flower boxes. I'm actually very happy about that. Okay, so let's grab some of these. Put some here. Put some here. Put our books back. And then put them on here. Now what's interesting is I think once I have these in here, historical oak shelf mixed oak i think i want a mixed one um i think i like can't take these back to what they were so once i put like flower boxes in here and like change these on the carpenter's workbench i'm not sure if i can actually get the books individually back off of this which makes it interesting well, let's just do two for now i don't want to like waste the opportunity of just like having my books back so let's just try this Ooh, fun. Oh, these are so cute. I forgot I can do this. Yes, mod, it is so fun. Look at that. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. It's so fun. Literally so cute. And then I think we should put one up here or just put one back there. So let's just, we are going to use this last one. It seems like I'm able to find books kind of frequently in this world, so I am curious to just see what this one looks like. Oh, there's a little mushroom. I think this is my new favorite one. What's it called? Botanical Oak. I'm a fan. I feel like because modded gives like so many more cool uh, blocks for just like having floral decorations in my area, I'm gonna just like love that even more for us but let's see about our sand and i think i do want to have white stained glass that's usually my go-to so let's get some white dye here and then we'll grab our sand and our little okay we've got pots here we've got sand here now if we dye this i think i have to have dye all the way around it if i'm not mistaken so i think i need more but i think we had some bones too so the bones can help contribute a little bit that's three that's six and then i thought we had some white flowers i think i used them um yeah okay we have to we have to maneuver some of these around so let's remove these for now. All right, flower box right here. Let's do yellow and red. And then this is just seven, so I need one more. So I need to find my other one. All right, flower box, put that back. And let's put you here and you there. And I think I should have enough for this now. So anyhow, I'm just like climbing in and out of my windows <laughs> because I can. Oh, am I? Oh, I was definitely doing this wrong.
Let's do glass. Oh yeah, I did it wrong. Okay, well I guess we were fine. <gasps> we had an aquarium! <gasps> Ooh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, I didn't know we had that as an option. That's adorable. And then how do I make glass? Okay. So I think now we've got the panes. So we can put these in here like so. There we go. And I think I want to grab that mod called Continuity that just makes these glass panes look like one. The, you know, one continuous. Okay, alright. You can just go out the door. Nope, nope, out the door. Out the door. Yep, scooch Zelda. Out you go, Zelda. Yep. Llamas too. Why do you want to go in the house? Okay, well you're my house llama now. Um, I will be claiming you as my house llama. You're my house pet, okay? <laughs> you can't escape, and Zelda can't get back in. You're my house pet now. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Kind of funny. Kind of here for it. I'll take a house llama. You know, sometimes Minecraft Universe just bestows upon you the gift of friendship, and you just accept you say yes. I will gladly take a new friend. Yay! Okay, I'm glad that we have some shelves now. This is great. Now I have some pots I can make. I can make some big pots too, which is kind of fun. Look at that. Big old pots. Making it look really nice in here. And if we do some of this, we've got some yellow decorative flowers. We can put some red ones down. And let's put, I wanna put a red one here too because it matches what we have inside the bookshelf. And I think that's super pretty, but I like how this is looking. I feel like we need more light on the wall. So I'm gonna move some of these torches. And I'm gonna kind of make these look like they're intentionally supposed to be there, even though I just don't really have a whole lot of use. Okay, and then I can make some more pots. Literally, the pots are like my favorite thing. I love, I love me some flower pots. They're just so fun, so pretty. Alright, so we've got some more green and nature in here, and it looks really nice. Now I'm going to mix in some of these little cherry ones, because I want to have more particles. You know me with the particles. Yeah, there we go. I love that. And then I'm just trying to like spread these out a bit. There we go. And then we'll kind of just weave in some of our regular greenery in between. There we go. And it just like kind of like makes this place look more filled out because of it too. Because the bushy leaf vibes just make it look so good. Look at that, that already just makes it look so much better. I love it so much. I love adding leaves inside my builds. Literally one of my favorite things. Maybe I do too much. Maybe I don't do enough, you know? But either way, I'm a big fan of it. I think it looks beautiful. Just kind of like traipsing around. I feel like this kind of reminds me of just like a fantasy, uh, just like flower, flowerist, floralist, just like I'm all about the flower, horticulture, just like plant vibes with this and I love it so much. Are you officially my friend? Oh, nope, you're still on a lead, aren't you? Yep, you're still on a lead. You wanna come out? You can get out, you know. You just have to stop resisting. 
Okay, well, they clearly just want to, you know, stay here, which I don't blame them. It's beautiful. I love our area, too. Okay, now let's put some plants here. Some yellows. I want to have, like, a plant inside our house, too. I think having a plant here would be nice. Can I do this? No, I can't put wild carrots in there, I wish. It'd be kind of cool if we could, though, right? Um... Do you want to do some bamboo? And get some green. Having like greenery in here kind of just like blocks some of the barrels, but as long as I can still like access them, I'm fine with it. I just need to find ways where I can still like access them if I'm going to be like adding some of these in here, you know? He's still just fighting it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, well, I think the last things that I would probably add into here that we don't really have access to right now is I would add some carpets in here, but I think that's gonna be for a later day. It's also getting a night out. So if we're looking at what we have in here, as far as other decorative things, I think we're kind of Figuring out everything. We're getting it figured out. Oh, I'm literally clicking on it. I didn't even mean to do that. Alright, let's go to bed. And I think with what we have so far, I'm really happy with it. We need some more iron, we need some carpet. But I really love how this is turning out so far. It just gives me like fantasy flower vibes. Like fantasy cottage core flower vibes. And I think this is so pretty. We're going to need some more carpets in here and in the kitchen. But I think I'm going to call this good. I think our house is so pretty. I love it so much. And this area is just going to get even more filled out. And I love it. I think it's a really great start and I think as we're like exploring and finding new modded blocks we'll probably add to our builds along the way but for now that is going to do it for today's long play in our brand new better Minecraft world. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and hopefully you learned some new things about modded like I did and if there's anything that you think I should know about modded feel free to comment below and I hope you have a wonderful day.